Oh my god. Gosh, that's good. Look who is joining us joining us at XM Satellite Radio. Louis CK, everyone. Patrice has made the walk. Hello. And a bunch of creeps, also known as our listeners, making their way up here. Yeah, there was a, a lot of people today, man. There were a lot of people. Uh, you motherfuckers walk so fast. Oh, now it's the run over. <laughs> no, because it's not even the walk over anymore. Well, if we're not broadcasting, yeah, we want to go from one studio to the to the other one really fast so we could just mellow out for a few minutes. All these fucking... And get ready for part two of the show. These giant creeps. Are just, hey, Patrice. And I'm like, Jesus, why are these motherfuckers walking so fast? I wanted to go, hey, yeah. Oh, oh man, no. wait up. It's run the fuck away. Yeah. That's what I do. You no, know why? Because we just talked for four hours. The last thing we want to do is continue talking. We want to just... Just mellow out for yeah. a few minutes. It's good to get over here fast. Sit I'm down. serious. I can't even get on the elevator with you guys. That cocksucker downstairs makes me sign in. Uh, why everybody just walks by? I gotta sign in my name. Why you guys run on the elevator? You're I've black. never seen a guest. That's why, why the guys that do back. back. No, no, uh, no, 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 no. I think he's practicing some profiling. No, don't start yeah. that because he, he does stop everyone. He doesn't. Uh, he needs this power thing. You know. And he, no, he doesn't recognize also, you. Also, he's black. Well, <laughs> also, he's black. <laughs> he doesn't recognize you. He's stopping you just to show who's. He doesn't dress like a stockbroker. I mean, I would stop him. I'm gonna be successful. This is fucking start of fucking Louis C.K.'s a spit campaign. Let everyone know business. Knows not to love him that much. Hey, hey, coming up on the show too, we got Louis C.K. We got a lot of listeners. The studio audience is going to be huge today, and we also got uh, Finger Eleven out there. They're going to perform acoustically for us. Um, be, uh, we we played that last clip way too fast. So oh, I'll, I'll uh, play it again. We just ran out of time. Animal move. fuckers. We went into now that we could call them what they are, animal fuckers. And Louis C.K. will have a nice take on this as well. Yeah, we uh, discovered this documentary on uh, people that love sex with uh, animals. Yeah. Not only are they having sex with the animals, Louis, they uh, That's have That's creepy enough. They have an emotional mm -hmm. attachment. Yeah. One guy actually had a ceremony to marry his pony. Really? Yeah. Now you know, and we, and we, why would you marry... I mean, like, talk about how close, how much closer can you get to the metaphor, like, why buy the cow if you're getting milk for free? It's like, why marry the pony yeah. if you can just walk up and fuck it? Uh, you can just fuck it. <laughs> Jesus Anytime Christ. you want. That uh, is retarded. We, want, we can back up a little bit here, because eh, they're short clips. You know, we don't want to start from the beginning, or do we? Um, I, I don't think so. You want to start with to. The Although the guy talking about how he's emotionally involved with it was kind of really creepy. I felt like we didn't do anything with it. So why don't we start from yeah. the beginning? And if we got nothing, we'll just move on to the next clip. Yeah. All right? Because, right. I mean, the band's warming up. The people are coming up. And, you know, Louis hasn't heard this. Yeah. And uh, I just felt like uh, we needed to slow down and then and enjoy some of these clips a little more. Yeah, we had to run out of there, so we really did run out of there. I don't think there's anything basically wrong with fucking animals. No. No. Like basically wrong? No. I mean, I don't, it's not cool. I no, think it's like it's a, not something you tell your friends. But no, no. One's, no one really gets hurt. No, I, I by think doing it. like raping a pony is not that's not okay. I, I kind of how is okay. it not rape? All the time. Well, I guess it probably is. I don't probably, because any I, animals looking at people going, "Ooh, I wish he'd come over here." It's either me. rape, or, it's either rape all the time or not rape any time. I'll tell you because what. I don't think the animal cares. I'll, no, I'll, no, I'll really tell you no. why it's not rape. Not a what? tear is shed. Yeah, During the process, can't cry. Animals don't have True. tears, yeah. uh, so that means they're you know whatever. Do whatever yeah. you want with. However, them. they do look sad. And I, I, think, I think it does I think hurt people, like the chicken. Well, like a ch uh, chimp, I think people, most people, would fuck a chimp if they didn't have other people judging them. <laughs> well, because <laughs> thank God, Louis said that. Because these dopes not yeah. only are fucking the animals, they're yeah. t they're hoping that people around them are going to understand, so they share this info with their uh, mm -hmm. children and the neighborhood. Oh, they go on the and, internet. And See, that's the opposite. See, I think if I was alone on the earth for like four minutes I would fuck a chimp just Four minutes. Maybe that's not long enough. <laughs> that's, that's not long enough even to know you're alone on Earth. Is <laughs> no, it? that's not. Wait, 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 wait. You don't even know. <laughs> I come outside and it's quiet. I'm gonna fuck a chimp right now. <laughs> All right, I got. All of a sudden you hear, "Hey, yeah. anyone oh, else uh, around?" <laughs> if I, I hear echo three times, there's a pigeon wait, wait. <laughs> gonna suck my dick. If anyone else hello, is around, hello, hello, hello. <laughs> if anyone else is around except old chimp fucker over here, I'd like to talk to you. I got a problem though with him yeah. picking a chimp. Yeah. Yeah. Why? Like, let's just say you, you were going to fuck an animal. Yeah. Uh -huh. you, you had to, or they they take you off this earth. <laughs> I like these, which you have would, to do things. No, but which animal would you choose? Yeah, I don't think I would think. go with a chimp right off the bat. Because, because it's too much, too much like, like a person. Too much like a but, person. But not enough like a person. Right, yeah. it's just too, too much, close. So it's like, yeah. you know what, fuck something that's an animal. 
Let me think, though, because you don't want something... Like, a horse is out of the question. Well, that's, that's a lot of work. just a big fucking whole area yeah. of the asshole and right. just all muscle. And that, yeah, yeah. I have tail to get out of the way. Something tailless, I think. I well, hear, see, I hear well, sheep is the way to go. vaginas are very close to our vaginas. Yeah? To our vaginas. It's so hack, <laughs> though. Sheep, true. How about sheep what? dick? That's it's why. hack. Why it's it hack was... animal fucking. No, if sheep. you were fucking a sheep, you'd be like, oh, brother, here yeah, I go. Yeah, I'm fucking a sheep. Take a picture and put it on a postcard. A know. panda. A panda? It just looks they're cute, cuddly. They're, they're not uh, uh, primates. They're in the bear family. They're actually That's not bears. That's interesting. Okay. Pandas are marsupials. Aren't they in the bear yeah. family? I Aren't they in the ursus? Well, they uh, look no, like bears. They're but marsupials. They, are I would, they? Yeah. They have a pouch. I would have to Which go with the They're like kangaroos. Get the fuck out yeah. of town. Yeah. No, I, I mean, would, literally. <laughs> just leave. I'm I just the have, outskirts, just yeah, like just, Jersey. I just go over the bridge. I would have to go right over the state line. I would have to go with an animal that looks like it's bending over. <laughs> like what? Like any four-legged well, animal? It's like a horse can't really bend over. No, and there's no. something, something about something, seeing something bent over. Something yeah. shaped like a tyrannosaurus. <laughs> <laughs> something with hands. Something with little hands and it has to it has to bend all the way down. It's it's like like some of these animals never look like they're bending over. They're always on all fours. It can't they need be something that. See, I, no, well, see, a, the only hoofed animals I would fuck would be a sheep, uh, not a sheep, a uh, um, a deer. Yeah. Because a there would deer. be a purpose, because I hate deer. In my area, deer, are like, in upstate New York where we live, they're like a All fucking vermin. Place. Yeah. And they're assholes, too. They make it, they go, ah, they make a noise. They're not, like, quiet little... Deer, though. They, they are. They're noise. awful. So you're talking about pulling a deer. I'm hair. talking about, like, <laughs> I would like to blow... Like, really, I'm going to fuck you. You want to hold the antlers. I'm talking going, about, man. I want to, like, blow a guy that has AIDS so I can get it and then fuck a deer and kill it. <laughs> deer AIDS. And give it my AIDS. And you want it to die slowly. <laughs> so yeah. It, <laughs> so it can tell all the other deer you fucked? No, so it can fuck the other deer, too. <laughs> you have to... By the way, I, I said uh, uh, that you don't shed tears, and then everyone's uh, calling me out on that, saying, uh, oh, listen to the chicken fucker audio. Tell me that uh, chicken isn't crying. Do well, you have it or do I have it? Uh, I don't have the chicken fucker audio. Um, we I, need the chicken fucker audio! Now that obviously, that chicken was being hurt. There's a difference between being physically hurt as an yeah, animal being yeah. fucked and being like mentally hurt. As long as the animal can take your dick, well, it's the just going to be... Chicken pushes an egg out of its cunt, so... Why can't a dick? That, that's true, but... Is a, the head of your dick bigger than an egg? A woman pushes a baby out, yet you can fucking jam it in without any lube, and she's going to hurt. You know? It doesn't mean your dick's going to I didn't know they didn't lube the chicken. Yeah, they, they didn't. I guess they really, you All know, right. something right. against chickens in Germany. All right, we got it. I don't know if you've ever heard this clip, Louie. Yeah, the music it makes it. It's yeah. German chicken fucker. Yeah. All right. And try to tell me exactly when the chicken gets fucked. I think you'll be able to tell. Oh, that's good. <laughs> oh my god, it sounds like my grandmother. <laughs> this is what it sounds like when chickens cry. <laughs> <laughs> that is such a plaintive wail. Yeah, that's so that is awful. really awful. And a chicken is so scary. Just I never picked up a live chicken. Yeah. It, but it looks like it's scary to hold yeah, as it's yeah, trying yeah. to get out. Of, trying to so get away. So let alone you're fucking it, yeah. and it's doing that trying to get away from you flap. And that cocksucker is. It was a German. He's they have it. like years of knowing how to just take something a little weaker and hold it there and fuck yeah, it up the ass and fucking kill it. And really, yeah, and just kill it. And <laughs> no regard. <laughs> All right, let's uh, fucking Nazi. <laughs> fucking <laughs> awful. Let's play these clips again and do it. Yeah, here's That's the good. first clip for uh, Louis C.K. We're doing this like Louis. I love and maybe this. for the people tuning in late. In a trailer home in the backwoods of Missouri, of live four zoophiles. They are united by their love of animals, a love which is both emotional and physical. Zophilia is love of animals. I love my animal dearly. Um, sex is an option. Um, Yes. You know, I don't have to have it all the time. Oh. It's something I enjoy very much. It's something I would miss if it were gone. Mm. But 
it's, it's not it's not a necessity. It's not just about sex. No, no. no I, I love my pony. He's so defensive. Yeah, he's he so softly defensive. <laughs> yeah, no, it's, it's like, not about. Because oh, how dare you think it's just dog. about fucking? Yeah. You don't fuck all the time. I mean, it's there. Yeah, <laughs> I'm part of the relationship. Do. My dog. <laughs> <laughs> it's not. You know, but it's about you know. It's incidental that I fuck my dog. Relationship. <laughs> <laughs> sure it is. It's a part of the relationship. My dog. Yeah. Just, uh, just, well, this is well, self-explanatory. Here's the next clip. I've got a male female dog, and I've got my female donkey, mm. and with my dogs, um, I'm as close with my with my two dogs as I am with my girlfriend. Um, <laughs> Boy, she must wow. be happy to hear that. Yeah. Huh? She's beaming with pride. <laughs> wow! Right. Holy shit! Wow! Uh, well, she's sucking rabbit dick too. Like, you know, she yeah, said yeah. the same thing in, in her interview. Like, yeah, you know, she's you know. not like upset with any of this. Like, if you seen a horse dick, you, I would look at my girl. My girl wanted to fuck a horse. I would go. I don't blame you. <laughs> it really is unfair. It really is unfair to the dogs because. The dogs are like, okay, we're, our whole species is fucked. It's like Planet of the Apes times a thousand. We're just fucking <laughs> assholes of the world. We got to like live in your house and ask to I ought to shit on the ground and shit and yeah. eat pebbles, like what? brown pebbles. I never thought you know. I never but then, then the, these dogs are like, this guy's going to fuck us? <laughs> yeah. And they're together, too. They're, they're do two dogs. Yeah, so they and can talk to each other. they're in the other. kitchen going, he fucks us. <laughs> <laughs> what other dog has to fucking put up with this shit? And they must be talking about killing him. They must be talking about Somehow. Like, oh, talking if I had a thumb, I'd choke the motherfucker. <laughs> the dogs talk to each other. Dude, claw is worthless. The female dog goes, at least I'm not gay. <laughs> yeah, at least I'm not a faggot, you yeah. faggot. <laughs> Fucking homo. <laughs> dicked in the dog ass. Friend. Oh, man. Uh, I wouldn't... I, I'd be just as uh, upset to lose either of those as I, w as I would be to lose my girlfriend. Yeah, oh, well. wow. Mark, who owns the trailer, lives with Pixel. The trailer. <laughs> he is partially blind. Pixel, look here. He's got his dick in his yeah. hand. Come on, boy. The two got married in an unofficial ceremony five years ago. Many. I love Pixel. She's gorgeous. My God, that's a beautiful little pony. She's sweet. She's loving. I'm very proud of her. And... I like to be able to tell people how wonderful she is. Um, okay. You're, you're <laughs> fucking. Like a half blind guy in a trailer fucking a pony. And British TV had to go there and. Yes, and <laughs> give it like, like this. They had the to do a the way he's talking oh, to, God. we'd like to introduce you now with a zoo <laughs> yeah, It's like he's God. talking about fucking, like, well, Margaret you know, Thatcher. There's yeah. some fucking pitch meeting in their newsroom. Uh, I, I, I know a fellow in a trailer, he's half blind and he fucks his pony. Get All right, camera send group. Fuck it, send Nigel. <laughs> Just go with it. Send, yeah. send Nigel. Nigel. Fucking God, go ahead. working on a Winston Churchill biography, <laughs> but now I'm doing this thing on a donkey fucker. <laughs> You know he's just upset that they sent him there because his delivery is it? Because this would but be one of these like to do the sweet yeah. BBC. <clears throat> he's like, yeah, uh, uh, fucking disgusting. All right, go ahead. All Let's right, roll. Voice over. <laughs> All right, we ready? Roll the clip. Here he is having <laughs> sexual relations with two of his dogs. <laughs> Fuck. Here's uh, the price you pay for the lifestyle. Uh, I've paid a price for this lifestyle. Mm. I've had to face up to some friends who just couldn't handle it and um, say, okay, well, you know, I'd yeah, hate to lose is. you as a friend, but Faggots. I understand. <laughs> I guess. can't handle it. What friends can't handle that? I hate to lose these friends. Yeah, some friends. <laughs> some a friend friends. can't stick by you while you're fucking your dogs. <laughs> no. They ain't friends. He's not a true friend. Friends. Road Rocket from Jersey. Notice they say unofficial ceremony, like he went to the courthouse and got a marriage license. Got an official, <laughs> yeah. yeah. You have to say an unofficial ceremony. Unofficial ceremony. <laughs> In an unofficial ceremony. Yeah. Oh, really? I thought this was legal. Yeah. Do you, Cliff, take this poodle to be yeah. along with yeah. In a wedding only rivaled by Charles oh and Diana. <laughs> see, I want to see the, <laughs> with the horses. And the... Does anybody object to this? And you hear one <laughs> in the back. <laughs> if anyone objects to this wedding, please speak now or forever hold their peace. Oh, the dolphin in the back. <laughs> God damn it. I yeah. wish I wish I could have seen the cusp though when he was losing his friends, you know. <laughs> right. <laughs> like when he went to <laughs> right his old that. bar to play darts and then like 
Hey, uh, not for nothing, but maybe you don't come around no more, all right? <laughs> yeah, we kind of, we, we were talking, talking and, uh, and um, we'd really like it if maybe you didn't come down. Yeah, but you, pro- you know, they probably like were friends for like 10 years and he was feeling good. Yes. Like, you know what, it's about time they know everything about me. <laughs> yes, exactly. Oh, one night when like one guy starts talking about how maybe when he was younger, he's the guy that yeah. drove his car through someone's garage. Uh-huh. What's the- Hey, you know something? I, fuck my I got pony. a story. <laughs> I fuck my pony every day. Is it Jimmy's bit where you're hanging out with f- your friends and one friend always just admits something that he should never admit? A little too far, yeah. You've had a few beers and all of a sudden you're like, you're feeling good. Yeah, you're, you're doing confession night and uh, yeah, you yeah. go a little too far and talk about fucking your pony. I fucked my aunt right. this morning. <laughs> hey, Wes, uh, from Houston. What? what? <laughs> I was looking at you. What? We're going hacky here. Uh, right. Wes in Houston, this guy doesn't mind being in the doghouse. Yes. Uh, hey. uh, here you go. This guy's losing his friends. I've paid a price for this lifestyle. Yeah. I've had to face up to some friends who just couldn't handle it and say, okay, well, you know, I'd hate to lose you as a friend, but I understand. I'm sure that uh, I see my children much more often than I do. Um, oh, my God, he's got kids. Oh. They, they claim they're okay with it, and I think they are, but they don't really want to talk about it. Don't, don't like to be reminded of it too much. Too much. Uh, too they much. understand it's a part of me. No, they mind a lot. Mm-hmm. Don't want to but be reminded ashamed. of it. You know, Your too much. Are really nice. By nice too much, kids. I mean ever, ever, ever. Yeah, Dad. Uh, it's fine. No, go ahead. Yeah. You fucking fuck the pony. Not a lot, yeah. <laughs> Go ahead and fuck your pony. Fine. Dad. It's not like but, you were there for me when we. You know why he must have had up. a horrible wife. He must oh, have had man. a horrible wife. Like, Oof. look after what mom did to him. He's got that pony to fuck. <laughs> Leave him alone. Yeah, at least he's got his something. His kids don't hate him. His mo- his wife must have been a horrible <laughs> cunt that left him so wrecked that he's fucking a pony. That's what this story is. Yeah. yeah. This guy had a wife and kids. And she was so awful that he went, moved to a trailer, and fucked the pony. What could she possibly do that drove him to <laughs> hey, fuck man. animals? Hey, man, you were married. Remember? Oh, yeah, yeah. Remember? Okay. All right. All right. If you'd stuck around another three years. You know something? I'm thinking... Would you have head down That was really bad. And yeah. it never even entered my mind to fuck an animal. <laughs> so this guy, like, how bad must it have been? Yeah. Wow. But uh, emotionally, you can think about, like, if, if you're sitting there and you're going through that type of shit with your wife, mm-hmm. yeah. that the dog is always that loyal animal that, friend, that is loyal just friend. there. Mm-hmm. And, he, and the dog no might be like, what. look, you need some pussy, nigga. <laughs> 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 yourself yeah. up. I mean, you know, it, it, because dogs almost, are just, yeah. they, you can see that's what's great but you didn't have dogs. a dog. Right. Dogs are just that's what's that, great about that dogs. kind of thing where he almost, he probably hated his wife, lost his mind, wanted some pussy. <laughs> No, like, I remember seeing George oh, Bush. <laughs> I remember seeing George Bush coming off of a helicopter, and he was embattled. It was a bad time. And his dogs run up and yeah. start licking him. They and don't give him a little scratch. They don't give a shit about Iraq. They, they don't, yeah, they don't, they don't look at him and go, oh, fucking you Bush. stole the election, you motherfucker. They don't, <laughs> they're, 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 they're always there for you, no matter what. But here. what do you think the fight is? At what point where you start having that intrusive thought, like if the dog's licking you in your face, and then one day... You stick your tongue out. Oh fuck! As oh, that dog is, but that's yeah. the first and move. Get a rod. But that's what this is. What I'm saying. It, it has to be because it's so fucked up. You can't just full in go. I'm a nah. fuck a goddamn yeah, dog. No, it nah, nah. It's a. It's a. It's a. Progression. Oh, it's a progression. Yeah. It has to be a progression. Got, you go no, it's got nothing to do with what the dog does. It's an intrusive yeah. thought. It's an intrusive thought yeah, but that it you just think about. Yeah, but it has nothing to do about. with the dog. It's the, nah. Look at this guy's life. It's not like they're going, this man was CEO. <laughs> right. <laughs> of, you know, of, yes. of Xerox. He of, had yes. a speedboat. He's he living was, in a trailer. No. I, don't, I think you go yeah. all in. I don't think you, this is a slow process. Yeah, no, no fucking of a way. Large it's just like the switch goes off and you're like, you know what? I'm just going to fuck this today. If being gay... If being Sorry, gay is um is one of those things, you talk to a gay guy, they yeah. all fought. Mm. Like, they all fought. The f- they go, well, I always knew when I was 10. But they fought it till they was 22. <laughs> they yeah, didn't say, is... fuck it, I'm fucking dudes. They tried to this isn't not a sexual... fuck a dude. Yeah, but this isn't a sexual preference. This is fucking mental disease. <laughs> <laughs> you don't think there's a CEO that's fucking a dog? Fucking a dog? I would say yes. 
I would say they're probably. Well, we have any situation you over the years. I would say that usually the, the the crazy ones that are doing the wild sex stuff are the ones They'll that have a lot you. of power. Yeah. yeah. They just paid a dollar. I'll tell you that I, money. I, 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 I bet. I would bet any amount of money that Lyndon Johnson fucked some kind of an animal. Yeah. I'm pretty sure he fucked some kind of an animal. He was nuts seriously. by the end of his LBJ's life. He was really yeah. fucked up. Yeah, fucking it, an animal. They was doing it in the 60s. That's when you found all those dogs and cats, you know, laying in the bed with pills and suicide notes. And <laughs> I heard an interview with the guy who was the plumber for the White House. For years, and they asked him about Lyndon Johnson. He had uh, this stuff installed in his shower so that he had something like 200 psi of pressure, like crazy <laughs> amounts of pressure. The Nixon's first act as president or whoever took over for him was to get the shit out of get the that fucking shower out of here. <laughs> my head LBJ off. shower's gonna kill me. Exactly. That, that sounds kind of deep though. Fucking shower that hard though. Yeah, oh, I know it would be. Pat, <laughs> it hit me right in the left that, ball. That's Pat. not attractive to you, man. A shower no, coming that, that hard. Nothing oh, worse than getting hit in the nutsack with a hard spray of shower water. <laughs> you ever wash your hair and one little stream hit your ball sack, Pat, <laughs> and it's over. <laughs> Hey, uh, is the FBI going to come uh, yeah, right. over and shut us down? I'm looking at a website. I don't even know if it's legal. What do we do? Someone gave us a, a web address. and We I don't, don't run the fucking thing. Well, look at this thing. You tell me if this is something. Say about the kid sites, though. <laughs> hey, I don't yeah. run it. Huh? Yeah. What are you talking Cuffs? Nah, it's not anything to do with kids, but look at that. Is this legal com. stuff? I don't know. Oh, I don't even close. know what you're talking about. Oh, Christ, that's awful. Wait a minute, I don't even know what's going on in that URL. picture. Well, I don't even know what's going on in the picture. Well, Do those get any bigger? The pictures, I mean. This is a, Not the horse, it's big enough. There's a dog eating one. someone's oh, asshole. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is this legal? Is that a dog or a goat? What is that? That's a dog. And is that a girl? What's the rule, is Steve? A... Is this legal? Uh, I don't know. It wouldn't be up on Foundry. Yeah. <laughs> I can't just wouldn't find it there. Hey, the studio audience has come to life. <laughs> All right. Uh, um, I think, I think, as long as this stuff is posted on an internationally based server, you're okay. But yeah, just like you know, uh, really? I land. Yeah, I, I think, thought they shut this type of thing down. I think, I think you can't post anything like this in uh, in the U.S. But you know, you might be looking at something. Give her that's credit. In She's got a nice ass. I was. Yeah, I, I thought well. we'd see and some like, kind of sloppy ass. You don't ass think there. there's a guy that isn't it possible? Because she had given two or three motherfuckers a chance to fuck her before she got to fucking. Snoopy. Yeah, there's some yeah, horny well. guy that's like, look at this. This. What are you getting is... from dog that you're not getting from that's a human being? That's what I'm being. saying. There's a guy who gets right, no right. pussy somewhere. I, I have something to say. Yeah. When I was 11, oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> this is not going <laughs> to be about a book report. Or I, I, you hit home run. You hit your first home run in Little League. That's right. It's not it's, changing that's the that's subject. This is going. You, got to sit on you want right. your first trophy? Oh, God, please make it something hey. normal. Spit I, it out. And you know he's a Puerto Rican, so you know it's some yeah. goddamn Spanish animal. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to say it. Little... I put cream cheese on my dick, and I let my dog lick it off. Mm -hmm. That's I'm picturing a very young Louis C.K. And the reason I blurted out is I could answer the question, why a dog, instead of... Because it's, an, it's Cause anonymity. It's <laughs> <They're> not, <laughs> not going to say anything. Yes. It's a warm tone. I also showed my dick to a retarded girl down the street. <laughs> Wait a minute. Probably within the same, within the same month or even week. The Wait fucking a cream cheese probably would have worked on so, her. <laughs> 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 why would you... Why, like, why would you... Like, so if a girl would suck cream cheese off your dick, that's what you would worry about her doing is talking. Yeah, yes. She wouldn't yeah. say shit. She sucked cream yeah. cheese off your dick. <laughs> yeah. I was 11. I didn't have any moves to get women to suck my dick. You'll do yeah. some crazy things. I was fucking desperate. Kick in. I was yeah. so desperate. Yeah. You and just had a... I looked at my dog. I was home alone. I was like, fuck oh, it. I'm doing this. I'm doing this. Wait, 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 wait. Take oh, us yeah. through this. <laughs> I went, oh, you, Mom and dad what? are gone. Mom and dad are out. Yeah. I, I was obsessed with my dick when I was a kid, when I was 10, 11. That's yeah. all I could. I wasn't even coming yet. Like, I didn't know. I didn't. I had not come. It just felt good. I just <laughs> loved touching my dick. And I used to do all kinds of shit, rub it against all kinds of stuff and whatever. Mm -hmm. Trees. I, and yeah. I, we had a microwave. I'd put, like, a, you know, chicken cutlet in the microwave and fuck it. Whatever. It doesn't matter. CK stands for cock. <laughs> <laughs> and then Louis the cock. So when I was... Uh, there was a day I was alone with my dog. I was home. I think I pretended to be sick so I could be home alone and fuck my own, <laughs> fuck the whole house. And fuck your dog's mouth. And there was my dog. And I just had this idea. And I went and got some cream cheese, some Philadelphia cream were cheese. You, were you breathing all heavy while you were doing it? I don't remember yeah, that oh, well. This is going to be good. It's almost going to be like a blowjob. Uh, no, it was awful. It was all awful. And I put <laughs> the cream awful. cheese on my dick and my dog. 
kind of looked at me weird and oh. kind of sh shrugged if a dog can shrug. <laughs> Did you feel <laughs> guilty? Started, I felt terrible. And how about Did a, you feel I weird when terrible. like it was licking your parents' face? <laughs> what? Like, <laughs> like oh, <laughs> later on, you know, like like later on. I don't remember that. I don't give remember. mommy kisses, and you're like, no, <laughs> not today. That. I don't remember that. And later, did you feel like it might have bit you at some point? What? No, I didn't worry about that. Mm. Did you, oh, you didn't think about a, it. He was, he was a good dog. How? He was, how, a, boy how, dog. Good he dog. was a really good dog. Yeah, how dirty <laughs> did you feel after it was over? I felt this. I mean, it wasn't like I came on his face or anything <laughs> like that. He licked yeah, some. That would be the some mark. cheese off my dick, and I gotta be. Honest, I think I, if I remember correctly, the dog. Stopped and looked at me like, dude, I don't what like are you cream doing? cheese that much. And what you started reading the dog's <laughs> mind, right? Like, yeah, oh, he, this dog thinks I'm a sick fuck. Exactly. But I, and I, st I stopped. It only lasted a few seconds. But every time my my dog walked in a room after that, I'd feel fucking uh, weird. And that's how it starts. Yeah. So yeah. you had to kill the Same. dog, right? Right. It I starts did. there. <laughs> and once you go through, I mean, like the first time I was jerked off in like one of those booths in New, in New York City, oh, how yeah. bad I felt. Like I'm yeah. like I'm one of these. Pieces of garbage that I think is a creep, and after you do that, he thought the dog sucking his dick. He's like, oh, he got past that, <laughs> <laughs> and now you move past. Now you go to the other thing. So, so now so, you you yeah. maybe uh -huh. if you could have continued on that line, it would have yeah. been easier probably to fuck like a sheep or oh sure. or something else. Yeah. I yeah. could see going that way. Yeah, yeah. I definitely <laughs> I definitely going. stopped and turned around and came back. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm amongst you all. You were at the crossroad. You were at the <laughs> crossroad there, and you, you made the right. I stop and you made the right that. decision. You needed this storyline for Lucky Louie. I mean, yeah, I know. I should have had it. <laughs> I, we would have gotten to it. Anyway. Yeah. Here we go. A sexologist. <laughs> I'm sure you would. <laughs> Here's a sexologist yes. explaining so uh, sex with anim animals. Yes. Zoophilia. Zoophilia is one of the forty odd paraphilias. And para means beyond the usual, and philia means love. These conditions used to be called the perversions. Used to be and on the street they called kinky sex. Yeah. On the street. <laughs> on Seventh Avenue they call it. According to the dictionary, is really love for animals. But usually people, when they talk about zoophilia, they talk about people who are in love or have an emotional connection with their animals, and they also have sex with their animals. Yeah. yeah. I like that music in the background. Like, yeah. <laughs> We're going to get to the bottom of this. Yeah. You know, they went to the music to library like, yeah. ah. What matches? Uh, like, <laughs> I need a good <laughs> song. <laughs> bed. No, the, <laughs> the beauty is <laughs> old McDonald <laughs> had a uh, The beauty is they just picked a track that they never used before. Like, yeah, I'll try this under this yeah. crap. Yeah, make sure we use a song that's never going to be used again for anything else. Mm -hmm. Here's uh, the rumors that the townspeople hear about the about the uh, about these people mm. in the small midwestern town where Mark lives. Nice. Rumor and gossip soon spread. I just heard that he's married to his horse and sleeps with his, his horse and uh, several animals or whatever. We were told that he had sex with his horse and with his donkey. What they do is their own business. <laughs> That's the way I look at Because I've, I've done bad things before my life. Too, you know, you know, I've, I've done just about like President Clinton. <laughs> But that's not, oh. What's bad about that? Yeah, <laughs> there's, a, there's a big drop off. Who there. am I to yeah to uh, judge a horse fucker when I yeah. once let a young girl blow me? Right. Actually, he <laughs> said he just about uh, you know did some off. bad things, and then he goes, "I've done done." Maybe he did President Clinton. <laughs> like that's what he yeah. kind of sounded like he fucked President. Maybe Clinton. admitted. No, yeah, no one bought into like <laughs> fuck. I admitted to the world. Yeah. Fucked uh, President Clinton. But they didn't buy it. It's, it's true. He had no problem with it, though. Hey, it's his business. Mm, and and this clip that we just r played and rushed out of uh, the first joint today, mm. unfortunately, and there was a really funny, funny line in there as we were packing up. Mark and Tom spend hours each day on the Internet, hours. talking to other zoophiles around the world. Just the truck stop here for a Everyone here first got in touch with Mark through the net. The Internet, I think, has been a major importance in the, in the forming of, of anything that could be described as a zoo community. Before that, contact with other zoos was was uh, extremely difficult. Your best friend could be boffing the beef on the side, and you'd never know he was a zoo unless he told you. Boffing a beef? Yeah. Like fucking a, a cow or something? Yeah. Yeah, what do they do? Like, the Internet has just opened it up. Like, yeah. in the old days, you pull out a 
the fucking quill and paper. Yeah. My dearest chicken fucker, <laughs> I would like you to know I too enjoy fucking chickens. <laughs> you know what? Like, and then mail the envelope. No, no, no. no. Or you just throw it in a bottle yeah, in the ocean. Damn, that's what yeah, that's yeah. <laughs> Message yeah. in a bottle. Before the internet, you just, just and you wrote this horrific shit chicken. hoping for uh, people just like you and you had to throw it in the Isn't ocean. Amazing. Or it all nice. Just hope somehow you, you two could connect. Or I, I hope guess this maybe letter you finds you well, <laughs> my horse fucking companion. Companion. Or you could, I guess you could put something in a in a personalized, you know, like in the back of a newspaper that's cryptic, you know? Yeah. Doesn't it, does, doesn't the furry, doesn't the furriness <laughs> feel nicer? I don't know, some, does some look, kind of, yeah, where somebody would know. Like, oh, fuck, I know what this guy's talking <laughs> like about. On Craigslist? What? Like on Craigslist? Yeah, yeah. Craigslist. Well, we're talking. <laughs> Man looking for male or female hands not required. Um... <laughs> uh, <laughs> Hooves okay. You spell Clips. words that sound like yeah. like like animal sounds. Like oh. if you see like uh, you could come, we could go moving and but you M O O V. We're going to move in with. Oh no! Oh my god! All right, let's say uh, we lost a guy. Really? Pit Are you still there? No. Right. What happened? He wants these people dragged behind trucks. He's very very pissed off. Oh. Yeah, that's some twisted shit. I that had a goddamn man. dog that was raped by a motherfucker. That was like, dude. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, when you get mad, he when you get mad. <laughs> the only people that are angry are people that want to do it so badly, yeah, exactly. haven't, and are pissed off that people are doing it. And being open and, about and it. And being open about it. And yeah. he's got to sit there just wanting to fuck his dog. Mm -hmm. All right. There's nothing worse. The only thing worse yeah. than fucking your dog is wanting to and not being able to. That's good, yeah. <laughs> it's got to be a pain that we will never know. Hey, uh, we should take a break. We got a live studio audience today. Let's hear from everybody out there. Oh, yeah. Good Friday crowd. Yep. We got Louis C.K. In, in studio. And Finger 11. Are you out there, Finger 11? Woo! Yeah. All right, they're going to uh, perform a couple acoustic numbers for everybody. All right? Cool. Friday. All after the break. Stay there. It's E Rock Radio. I love E Rock. We love E Rock Radio. E Rock? What's that? E Rock Radio. Yeah, I like them. It's hot. It's cool. E Rock. E Rock? E Rock Radio. He's evil. He's a bad guy. He's not true to himself and he's just ugly and his nose is falling off. I don't love it. He's an asshole. Eric Nagel is this, uh, he's this bisexual, incompetent radio guy, believe it or not. I don't like listening to him. He's not really that smart. I sure I can go fuck himself. All right, we're back. We're I was in an Anthony show. show. Just once, I want to see that. E-Rod, just talk to the audience, Anthony, and um, oh, are they asleep? The live studio audience? No, nah, they're they're hanging. Friday's the day, by the way. If you're choosing a day to come check out the show, mm -hmm. we could use the help on Friday. Because we are a little tired. We're getting ready for the weekend. We could use the energy of... Uh, of our listeners, we're up out. playing poker but all I, night. Oh, not you. That's yeah. right. We were. But hey, we, have, but, but I, we do I, have an open door. You can come by any day. But if if you decide Tuesday or Friday, you know, help us out and uh, you know make Friday the day that uh, we have a nice crowd. I owe you guys an apology. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude, what the fuck? I, I was just no, going to slide. Because of the fucking... We're, we're doing this huge build-up. Uh, yeah, going, I had no... Nobody told me. <laughs> nobody God. told me. I had no great. idea. When, when I got the info, I'm like, he obviously didn't know. Nobody he told me. He would never me. do this stuff. Why the fuck would Hold I on, do let me, that? Let me set it up. Uh, first yeah. of all, Patrice O'Neill's playing the Vegas show for us. We're talking about the ONA Traveling Vox Comedy Show. We <laughs> kick it off April 14th in Vegas at the Hard Rock Hotel and mm -hmm. Casino, the joint... Tickets still available. Not many, by the way, through Ticketmaster.com. Eight or nine comedians. Blah blah blah. Go to the website <laughs> for all the info. We haven't plugged this up. Uh, then I get an email from Pete. Oh, that fucking loose again. <laughs> he was God damn! What happened? <laughs> what happened? Because we've been like, you know, building up to the fact that we're going to do a press conference right. while, while we're out in Vegas and make a big deal. He's right. he's got some of the entertainment. We're going to have a map with pins in it. Dude, oh, it's going to be great. Dude, yeah, map God with pins and the celebrities. Like we, all comics' heads on the map. Oh, God. We, we, got the, we got the interest of the entertainment uh, channels, but not mm -hmm. anymore, because now, like, oh, we got the info, so why oh, should we send a crew to God Vegas? damn it. <laughs> God damn it. So what it. happened was, uh, Louis, very excited, he's doing a few dates. We're going to mm -hmm. do about ten or so this summer. Mm -hmm. And Louis decided, you know, i got to start promoting these. I promote myself. Well, here's from... Like, we promote us ourselves. We understand right. that. So he adds his dates <clears throat> to his website. 
So our fans, that you know, yeah. they're always searching for some little tidbit of info that no one else has. No this is Paul, by the way, being the dude that ends up getting Pete's number at his office, trying yeah. to confirm if what he's seeing on Louis's uh, yeah. website is true. Fucking no filter, Paul. And then I think he leaked it to a newspaper because it hit the newspaper today, all yes. because of Louis. No, no, this is Probably what happens on his website. Because I, I usually, I would have known if I, when I'm in L.A., I have Sirius in my car, so I, and I listen to you guys on but, Sirius or whatever the fuck you're on. <laughs> XM. Boy, oh, yeah, it's right on the mic. Yeah. On XM. <laughs> I listen to XM. I'm in my car, and I listen to you guys, so I would have known. I would have heard, like, that there's a countdown or whatever the fuck was sure. going on. But I'm in my apartment in my fucking underwear on my website, <laughs> and I email my agent and said, just give me. I've got time. I never do this. I never do the promotion yeah. set up my stuff, and I never. I'm a fucking lazy idiot. But I was sick, and I jerked off way too many times. <laughs> Nothing left to do, so I wrote my agent and said, send me all my confirmed dates, everything I have that's confirmed. And there's a bunch of your dates in there. I'm going to do some work today. Yeah, so I sat there, and I posted them on my website, and I put them on my MySpace. And then I see on MySpace some guy writes, hey, thanks for the advanced notice on those O&A dates. And I'm like, oh, okay. Oh. And then I get a Google news alert. You know how Google will yeah. send you an email? <laughs> yeah. Just like in 10 minutes, <laughs> I get fucking, I'm in the fuck. It says, Times Herald. Leaked Louis C.K. leaks <laughs> on a date. <laughs> like, oh, like, what? No. What the fuck did I do? Did you go like, I'm gonna have a high? Like, yeah, a, completely. A, a slight panic. Like, what and the I get fuck a shitload of shit on my space of people saying, you, Yeah, you let it out of there. are gonna be so mad at you. I'm oh, like, What did no. I do? Nah, we knew you didn't do it on purpose. But, but Pete was oh, pissed like that. If you told me not Louis to say CK. anything, I never would have. I never would have said That's what I said because Pete called me last night and he goes, you hear what happened with Louie? I'm like, yeah, uh, uh, Paul called me and uh, told me uh, what happened. I go, I go. well, didn't somebody tell him? Yeah, like, you when they the gave person. him the dates, like, not to announce it? Because anyone's going to want to nope. promote it. And and uh, Pete said, he knew. <laughs> and, and, and I'm like, I, what I know. And I'm like, well, why would he? No, I called my agent right away. I could post him if he knew not to. I uh, called my manager, my agent, and, and I said, D tell, did you, one of you guys tell me not to say something and I forgot? And they're like, no, we don't know what yeah. the hell you're talking I about. I told Pete. <laughs> we don't know what to talk about. Yeah. Yeah. Don't worry about yeah. it. We should get Pete on the phone. It could be funny. Yeah. Hey, we got Finger 11 out there. They're, they're, a, they're big rock stars. They've been just hanging out. Can we, uh, we can't even see them. Can you hear us? Yeah, they're kind of over there where we don't have a window. They're in between the door and the window. Oh, we, there we go. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> we, we got Scott Anderson, uh, the vocalist for uh, Finger Eleven, and James Black, the guitarist. What's up, guys? There's one mic. Not very much. Yeah, well, 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 security. Ah, there it is. Is the mic on? Yes. Yeah, the mic's on. And they're oh, testing, testing. There they are. Am I on? Yeah. I'm sorry, you guys. You caught me warming up being a uh, trying to be a professional. Why are you? Well, that lasted about three minutes. Well, you picked the wrong place to try to be a professional. <laughs> yeah. Then you take you a look tell. around this joint. You're like, they're set up in a cubicle somewhere. We can't <laughs> see them. I can sort of see you guys. Our audience is scaring them. <laughs> well, that can't be helped. Yeah, you guys are playing like in a cubicle. That's weird. <laughs> they're kind of stuck in there. Yeah, none of this yeah. makes sense. Doesn't that go against being a rock star? Yeah. When you and have to does. start performing inside a cubicle. And a memo you know what, during their set. You know what doesn't make sense? We got here before anyone. We were like Dude, the most punctual guys, dudes yeah. here. We were like 7.30. Wow. Yeah. Holy shit. We're Makes not no done with the other show until 9. <laughs> it makes no fucking sense. Because, like, <laughs> I mean, what are you going to do? Music is not supposed to be here till like, you know, noon. That's kind of good, though, because that gives you some talking time, so you're not waking up and singing. Yeah, exactly. So that's kind yeah, of... I think that was the, that was the point, but yeah. that's not really funny, is it? No, <laughs> it's just very informative. <laughs> hey, you <laughs> the fuck do I know? <laughs> hey, I was reading up on you guys, and uh, something that uh, struck me as interesting. Interesting. You guys used to be known as Rainbow Butt Monkey. How did I know you were going to find yeah. that fact? Well, come on. That's Especially that, today with like, all the animal love going on. Well, yeah. Did, that, uh, did you feel like you were in the right place when you heard us talking about the, the sex with animals? Kinda, you know what? Kind of, sort of. I was like, okay, uh, how are we going to explain them our high school band name? But it's, it, it'll be thematic. That'll be cool. I mean, that's what it was. We were just, that was our high school band name. We thought it was awesome. Just throw some words together and... Yeah, that's all you need. Butt Monkey. You want to be in a band? Just... How Those high were you guys when you came up with rainbow butt monkeys? I don't think we were smoking weed at that point. No, we were still too young. It's a different story now, but never we, too young. We, so. Yeah, we just. Uh, hey, wait a minute! You guys are gonna admit that you smoke weed? <laughs> well, why not? No, that's cool. I'm, I mean, most of the bands <laughs> these days. Smoking weed's cool, kids. I'll, I'll tell you no, something. No, it is cool, <laughs> especially in rock music. It's cool. Like lately, you, you talk to these bands like, ah, man, I'm. 
I'm straight edge. I, I, I'm vegetarian all the oh, way. Yeah, it's a, no drugs. It's not a good my, marketing angle. My body's yeah. a temple bullshit. Yeah. Well, <laughs> you know what the problem is? I can't smoke weed on the road because of my voice. It, 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 it screws things up too much, right? Yeah. But everybody else is like, it's a, it's a fucking make constant party. Somewhere, I, I'm trying to remember the year, because Ann and I have been going backstage forever. I can't remember the year either. No, I, no but I'm serious. Like There, there was a turn. It was in uh, around 2000 or something. We're backstage, and all these guys that are like all tatted up and pierced and uh, everything going on with their bodies. You see them like, getting a vegetarian meal and drinking like bottled water, and there's <laughs> no sign of debauchery whatsoever. And then they go on stage and act like animals. Yeah, they're like yeah. what happened to our rock stars? Where what you saw on stage was happening behind the scenes. They're, they're dead from drinking too much and smoking <laughs> and doing drugs. Yeah, yeah but there's something to be said about that. They didn't make it. <laughs> I remember that area you're talking about though, and I think it's sort of gone. I'm not really sure. I think it was more of an angle or something. Well, you know, Patrice Francine's here. Yeah, I we're just gonna, saw her walk by. Yeah, we're going to have Patrice, uh, Patrice uh, Francine do the news a, a little later. But uh, it's good to know you guys are doing the weed. So you guys are from Canada, right? Yes. Ah. Yeah. Uh, Sorry. <laughs> not I much just, not much competition as far as bands go in Canada. Well, that's kind of good. Isn't it like I don't yeah. know if that's, I don't Isn't know it like a law is. that like all the radio stations have to play every Canadian band like every 10 minutes? There's a little bit of that for sure. <laughs> yeah. You know. Yeah. It's, it's there, probably there, there easier for a band to get airplay up there. It, it, sh it should it. be. It never Admit worked it. for us no? until recently. But no. uh, When I worked in uh, Buffalo Radio close enough to Canada, so some of these stations came in and they had this rule. It's got to be like 30 or 40 percent, I yeah, forgot, yeah, of yeah. Uh, Canadian bands. Yeah, so you right. heard so much fucking Neil Young, yeah. so much Rush, and I can't <laughs> even name a third. Uh, 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 Brian Adams, maybe? Yeah, sure. Brian Adams. Wanna, well, well it's, worse, it's belt, worse in too. Montreal and Quebec, right? Because there's not only the percentage of... Canadian content, it's it has to be French oh, yeah. Canadian content. And that's so that's like hot. some pretty alienating that shit stuff is really there. Good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> some of my best, uh, some of my favorite music is Quebec yeah. French music. That's what I, <laughs> <laughs> Not even just French, but Quebec French. Oh yeah, yeah. I don't have enough room on my iPod for all the. <laughs> <laughs> I had to get an 80 gig to put yeah. all my <laughs> great stuff. Favorite Quebec. <laughs> well, it's Finger Eleven. They're promoting uh, them versus you versus me, right? Brand new record came out a couple weeks ago. Yeah, and the single is uh, Parallel. Yep. And you guys want to play something for us today? Well, yeah, we do. Are we going to go for it now? Yeah, whatever, dude. Whatever. Right, yeah, feeling, man. Okay, well, then we'll do yeah, right, Live we'll audience just, uh, there for you. All right, let's see how this goes. This is a song This is a song off the uh, somebody's cell phone. All right, all right. I heard so this. this is, <laughs> board gossip theme, I think. <laughs> this is... Uh, Stupid listeners, turn off your fucking phone. <laughs> <laughs> I got to make sure that's not mine. All right, so this is uh, from the new record. This is called Talking to the Walls. has been held like I've been holding mine but I'm just fine since I've been without you no prisoner could climb the walls that I built up in my mind since I've been without you but I'm holding down and now I'm desperate without you Look at the shape I'm in Talking to the walls again Look at the state I'm in Bent and broken is all I've been No other universe but mine could ever feel as unaligned Since I've been without you, no instances from time to time They feel like things will turn out right Since I've been without you But I'm holding down and out I'm desperate without you Look at the shape I'm in I'm Talking to the walls again Look at 
voice sounds great this early in the morning. Very good. <laughs> Thanks. No, I'm not kidding. That was really, really good. Thanks a lot. That's very, cool. Very, very nice. I'm getting good reviews <laughs> over here. You're, you're getting huge, uh, great reviews uh, on Pal Talk and on the Instant Feedback. Finger 11. The That's album cool. Them versus You versus Me. And Scott, you're in the, into the world of Warcraft. Yeah, that's true. Okay, who's who's coming up with this? This is not wow. on the bio, sir. Hey, man, we dig deep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Me and Rick, me and Rick play a lot. Uh, and that was you were in Taiwan for a while. No, I'm I'm an EverQuest uh, oh, yeah, right, yeah, yeah. guy. Wow, that's 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 pretty cool. I that's, went that's old, old school. That's that's really old I school. Have, I have a character from like the year the fucking game started, so <laughs> you know, I couldn't really. And everyone's Don't, like, dude, you gotta try WoW, dude, you gotta try WoW. And I I tried it, couldn't get into it as much as uh, it, stupid EverQuest. Well, uh, do you find it's kind of a hard sell when you talk about this kind of shit, like where it's like if nobody plays games, it's like. What the hell are you doing? You're, you're, you're speaking faggot. If, uh, <laughs> yeah, you really are. If, if you, you gotta yeah. be really careful. You, if somebody knows what you're talking about, you can talk for hours about yeah. the games that you play. Yeah. Uh, if someone doesn't know, they're just like, dude, what? You, you're like, you're spending 16 hours trying to get a robe? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck are you talking yeah. about? There's no context for anybody. You just you... don't understand, yeah, man. man. Wait, yeah. you, you, were, you were on a raid that took like eight hours to get together and it ended in a minute? <laughs> what the fuck? What are you talking about? Yeah. Well, do you ever think that... Uh, I hate to sound like a, like a faggot. Don't worry. Huh? But uh, that you're, the rest of your life is the same thing? Like, <laughs> you, all yeah. the time you spend obsessing on whatever it is, your career and your finances, it's the same just bullshit. Cause yeah. When you, when you walk away from your role-play game, it all vanishes into nothing. It's fucking useless. Yeah, it's just <laughs> it's, it's nothingness. But that's, that's what, life, too. Though. Yeah, but you sort of walk around like you kind of feel like you have the chest of the character you created for a minute. Yeah, like... like you got the weapons <laughs> on your belt. As you're playing, you're kicking ass. Yeah, you feel like, it. You really feel it. You feel yeah. that power. Well, isn't the rest of your life the same thing? Like, yeah. Isn't it just, hey. it's just horse shit? It's bullshit. Fucking virtual it, thing you made up. You, <laughs> yeah, pretty much. But yeah. it's more. You get your moments of glory, and yeah. then here's, most of the time, though, you're just running around looking for something to do. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Here's a question I got for Scott and Anthony. What's your character doing right now? Uh, uh, right now, uh, just sit, virtually sitting. Just waiting for you to pick up the waiting game Waiting for you. Is he in a forest? Fucking a dog. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> is he in a dark forest? What, where is he? Yeah. He's just sitting in, in the virtual world waiting for you to pick up the, the, the old so, game again? Because yeah. at this point, yeah, yes. there's, there's no more grinding left. To, you, you've got you know, to hit all these levels, right? And then when you hit the highest level... It is about sitting around waiting eight hours for raids and stuff. So there's no, no there's no, there's no, no that's time the for way that. I feel about yeah. my career sometimes. Like I'm this guy, this comedian who's just sitting occasionally just sitting.
sitting in a chair, <laughs> yeah. not doing nothing. I'm like, oh, I gotta work that fucking guy again. Yeah, how is <laughs> make some fucking phone calls, book some shit for that asshole Canadian that I, you're, you're that right. I created. How the same often? Thing. How often in, in in like any given day are you actually yes. spending time working? Are right. you actually working your thing? Something you're yeah. working your thing. No. And how much time are you sitting around wasting time? Yeah, wasting <laughs> doing huge nothing. Huge amount. Like some of that. That was so that, epiphany like. I need someone to power level my life. Life. Yeah. <laughs> that's what people that's need. Someone to help you power level your own yeah, life. Exactly. I, I feel that way with some of, the, some of the TV characters. You watch some of these shows you're into, and you're like, God, oh, they're just living this character all the time. And you get to me, and I'm like, dude, I I fucking filmed that eight months ago. <laughs> yeah, I've been exactly. just hanging out in a Starbucks every day, waiting for my next gig. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like I used to watch that show Oz, and and the, some of the characters live in my neighborhood, and I hated seeing them. Like that Beecher guy. Like, you just oh, shit right. in that guy's mouth yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> and now you're wearing a sweater having brick oven pizza. <laughs> at fucking Picasso Cafe. Like, it doesn't make sense. <laughs> it's so out of context. <laughs> hey, Finger 11. Hey. MySpace.com slash Finger 11. Um, are you guys promoting anything else? That's pretty much it. We're just going to be on tour forever. Are you We're guys uh, doing anything in New York? No. Really? <laughs> then why the fuck be, are you like, here? We're doing, we're doing, we're doing <laughs> this and we're like sitting around shipping off nothing. again. We're uh, I don't know where we are. I think we're going to uh, we're 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 blowing off Detroit. New York and going to Detroit. Detroit. Why would you go to As Detroit? As so many do. <laughs> Why That's would you want. go to Detroit? That's I don't. I, I think place. there's a gig. You know. Yeah, yeah, we don't know much about Detroit. <laughs> Can you? What's what's the is the um style that that particular style? All the songs that type of acoustic. No, it's a little bit all over the map. All right, because I was wondering how how it's to work, how the map. name Paralyzer would come from that style. Like what song you could do. Yeah, that's, yeah that's, well, there you go. It's, it's, it doesn't it's translate from song to acoustically song. at all, so we don't even bother trying. Yeah, oh, okay. it's, it's, you know, they're not acoustic. Yeah, they're much better when they plug in. I mean, not much better, much different. Now, these guys I famous. Now, much I'm better. not even trying to be funny. Are, these, yeah, are no. you guys famous? No, no, no. Finger 11. That was, I swear to God, you sound great. I That's meant cool. to say much different when they plug in. <laughs> I said much better, which was... Are, are these now... You need to just school me on, on White World. How... <laughs> on... on in, in terms of, like, say, LL Cool J famous. Are you LL Cool J famous? Are you Little Kim famous? Travis! In terms of white white people. Bring in Travis. Oh, Travis oh, is the resident expert. Travis, how huge is Finger Finger 11 compared to maybe the the rap community. This could go very good for you guys, very well for you guys, or very bad. Go ahead, Travis. A little Travis. In comparison to... Explain Finger 11 to, obviously, Patrice, who's never heard of him. In black artist terms. Oh. For the four people that are black that are Wait. listening. Are they Denzel <laughs> are they like Washington, or are they uh, Gabrielle <laughs> Union? Jimmy J.J. Walker. Jimmy <laughs> Walker. Or like, Jimmy, yeah, uh, Billy D. Williams. Nipsey Russell, between. maybe. Huh? Denzel and Gabrielle. Denzel is Denzel, and then Gabrielle Union is like, white people go, who? Gabrielle, who the fuck is that? But, sh but black, pe <laughs> black people know him, but it's like, who the fuck is that? Everybody knows Denzel. So I'm saying, in terms of how would I understand how big they are? And I'd you? say closer to Gabrielle than Denzel. Yeah. Yeah, but pick pick somebody. Pick a black um, artist of anything <laughs> that you could then <laughs> say. All right. Rapper Nelly or Mob. D you know somebody. Mob that's, Deep. So uh, they are getting a lot of airplay. They're, they're known Deep. to the white people who who know the music that. Oh yeah, that's Liz. Okay. Yeah. All right. Patrice, so. we're downplaying this because we're just dopes, but these guys are pretty big. They're mom the beat big. I know how big they fucking are. Uh, that, explain yeah. it. Don't get defensive They're now. They're pretty you big. Spent eight minutes explaining it to you. Don't act like you've always I'm known it. No, I know how big they are. <laughs> you no, think I'm stupid? No. He you just found out in front of us. Thank you. No, no way. Thank you. Not that I'm saying. No, I'm saying. Get away with murder out here. I'm saying that Travis, I, he explained how big they are. Uh, it's like uh -huh. teaching my wife how to drive. It's very respectful. Oh, shit. It's like teaching my wife how to drive. She doesn't know anything. I'm like, Okay, put it in drive. I know how to put. Well, I fucking told you how to put it in drive. <laughs> so don't act like I'm talking like you're stupid. Fuck you. Uh, we just no, told fuck you. Fuck you, you Monty Cole. Uh, <laughs> what happened? Monty Cole. What do you people say? Uh, Monty Cole. Yeah, thank you. Thank yeah, you very much. <laughs> <laughs> hey, don't point that finger no, at me. No, when you said uh, thank you, Travis, well, I, I was meant, onto something there. I know how take big beating. they was. <laughs> just take your Once he said Mob Deep, I Once knew how big. Right, okay. Right. You That's know how big saying. Mob Deep. Yes, yes, thank you very right. much. Right. <laughs> yeah. right. Hey, can we get another one out of you guys? I yeah, mean, yeah. I mean, you're set up and all. All right, so this is the thing. This you might recognize this. Speaking of, I mean, this song is kind of bigger than the, the than the band. I would say. I don't know. Can you do uh, acoustic oh, paralyzer? It's like our hit. No, it, you know what? It just sucked too much. We, we yeah, tried it already. We're like, no, nah, it's all not right. cool. Yeah, do yeah. do do your hit. So here it. Is. Yeah, ready? Here goes. Here's the hit. There you go. Big hit. Finger eleven. 
one thing. Very good, guys. Bravo. Uh, by the way, uh, people are trying to explain to Patrice how big uh, Finger Eleven is. They they were on Leno. Mm hmm. Gives a shit. That's a true story. We, well, we we got on Leno a couple times. So. Well, uh, that's what I was going to say. That's no big deal because even Ant and I were on Leno once. So. <laughs> it wasn't our first rodeo. It's not even yeah. engaged anymore. It's just, it's just <laughs> put it this way. Do, do your fans hate you now? Oh no no no! You mean uh, well, so? You have your, fan, your core fans still love you. I think a good a good portion of them may hate us. A good portion. Of them you know what? Yeah, if, you, if your core fans still love you, then you then you're not big yet. As soon as they turn on you, then, right. then they almost hate us. <laughs> See, we keep we keep doing records that don't really sound alike. We kind of keep doing our own thing, and I think it's a little uh, it's confusing. You know, it's not sort of a hey. homogenous deal, ah. so it's kind of hard to kind of keep on the same. Uh, Wavelength is like you know your favorite band. It's like you know it's like anything. It's like sometimes you want that ACDC ACDC record. There's like pure consistency, and then sometimes I don't know. You want to hear your favorite band dick around. I, I like these guys. You're grounded. Yeah. You don't nice. have that dumb attitude. We're sick of. It's you get, too, it's, you, get, you still get groupie pussy. Like is that still a part of the, the lifestyle? Who's married? Well, there's a lot of guys that are married. Yeah. Fuck that. How about you, Lee wow. Singer? <laughs> <laughs> How about you with the, with the soul, baby? Are you getting some ass or what? I'm, I'm not married. I. I so can't... wait. What's the the question is Canadian? Are you getting <laughs> Canadian? You, what's your sneaky? Don't dodge around. Yeah, you're not are get... you getting some side pussy, man? You get some good pussy yeah, on not, the road. You, you don't, Go ahead. I've got I've I've got a steady girl, so it's not like it used to be, you know. So it's like you got to sort of be a good kid on the road, or you know, this day and age, you're you're pretty much <laughs> bullshit. Yeah, you said it all. Oh, you, you kidding me? <laughs> it's not even worth it, dude. There's just there's too <laughs> many. There's he too put many the internet. song out like one thing, so <laughs> the chick at home's like, all right, see, I know where his head's at. <laughs> but on the road, it's 25 things. <laughs> was you was you fucking raw like in the Yucatan? You can fuck raw in the Yucatan, right? AIDS didn't get to the Yucatan yet. <laughs> it's, it's, yes, <laughs> you get to go places where AIDS hasn't uh, made its appearance yet. <laughs> Shit, Vancouver ain't no AIDS in Vancouver, nigga. Fucking you can <laughs> You're thinking of the Yukon, you fucking yeah. idiot. <laughs> the Yucatan Peninsula is kind of like Yucatan. south of Mexico. Not, that's like Wait a minute. Yucatan. It took y'all a second to know I didn't know what the fuck I was talking about. Hey, yes, Yukon's in there. You know, I was trying to think about like, Yucatan. I'd say there's probably AIDS there. I think I, that's where it started. <laughs> I didn't care. It came from the fucking I didn't care of the Acapulco. Accuracy. I was with you, Patrice. I just enjoyed the joke. <laughs> no, that's true. It, 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 it works without the uh, geography. Hey, uh... <laughs> And also, we were talking about video games. Some dude from Elmira, while you guys were learning how to level up uh, your blood elf, uh, mage, image, help me out here. Mage. mage? I don't know. Mage? Yeah, mage? I was learning how to unfasten a bra with one hand. Great time. <laughs> Oh, yeah, Mr. Yeah, right. Fucking <laughs> Ladies, man. She you mean with your, mock up. your mother's bra around the <laughs> yeah. fucking bed. So I can't just think read it. If he knows about blood elves, what the, what the fuck is he yeah, talking exactly. about? Yeah, exactly. He knows a little too much. much. Yeah. He has time yeah. to send in a message, too. He knows a little too much. All right, we got to take a break. What, is he virtually married? Hey, Finger, <laughs> finger 11. Can I ask a quick question? What's the what? benefit now to being a rock star now that everything is not... You know, you can't go out and do all that rock star shit. Like, what is other than artistic expression? Mm. What is the benefit now? What do you wish? To yeah, I like that question. Well, yeah. I, there's that dorky love of music and doing some with your friends. You know, other what, than, what, other what, than that, mean, other than that, the, the artistic, like the thing yeah. where y'all get to bring, you know, just say it and shit. I'm talking but, about the extracurricular dude, thing, like being better than the average citizen. <laughs> all right, well, I mean, fortune, probably. You get you get paid to run around the planet and drink and hang out with your friends. Yeah. That's okay. pretty odd. It's a good gig, you know. Not enough. It's a comic. Nah, you know, it's, it's not, not enough. Anger. There's nothing artistic not about anger. that. Not no. enough anger. Why are you yeah. mowing it over? Yeah. <laughs> you know, I'm just like saying, that? where's the anger in the world now, man? God damn it. Oh, we made a bunch of angry records. Man, tattoos? You, know? you motherfuckers probably ain't got no tattoos or nothing. There's no. a bunch. I don't have any, but there's yeah. a bunch. Go look guys. at them, Patrice. Jeez. And this guy designed them and stuff, so it's all right. All right. Hey, I, I like him. I just want hey, somebody to die of a heroin overdose. This, then, then I'll really love these. <laughs> then, you'll, then you'll start picking up the records. That's phase two. Wow. Hey guys, it's up to you. Uh, you can play us out around eleven in about a half hour, or we can say goodbye now. It's nah, you know what? Let's say goodbye. My, I'm, I'm, I'm annoyed at my voice. It sucks. What? what? Uh, you know what? I've been dealing with like this cough and I'm on antibiotics. I thought it's AIDS. Shit. Fuck. Sorry. It's it. just you, bro. I, I, everyone <laughs> AIDS voice. No, Yucatan, raw the Yucatan. Yeah, we just got back in the Yucatan, so I got to deal with. No. <laughs> it's just you. The feedback's been great on you guys. So. Oh, that's awesome. It's Finger Eleven. They're promoting. Oh, uh, not the people talking. You've been feeding back. <laughs> oh, it's, it sounds good. It's like a Hendrix concert. <laughs> uh, the album's uh, Them versus You versus Me, which is a lot different than what you guys heard today, which was also very good. The acoustic yeah. stuff. So, all right. Anything else you want to get off your uh, chest there? 
No, just thanks for having us. That's cool. Scott Anderson, the vocalist, and uh, James Black, the guitarist. Thank you so much. Thanks, thanks thank guys. You. All right, uh, we're going to take a break. we got Louis C.K. Uh, we just asked him. He said yes. He's going to do from 11 to 12 today live for, oh, cool. for everybody. Have no we have idea. Francine here who's going to do the news. Yeah, Louis doesn't know what he's going to do. I don't know what to do. He's just going to turn on the mic on and see where it yeah. goes, just which I think could yap, be. Yeah, plunk some funk could down. Be cool. You'll be fine. Okay. And we got Francine with the news we can do next for Patrice. I love Francine. And we could also get to know the audience because there's some doozies out there, man. There's a guy that does gangbang parties. There's a guy that uh, was attacked by a dog as a kid. Dog whipped his face off. Jesus Christ. <laughs> it looks all right. You? You can't say a dog wow. ripped your face off and then stand there with a face. <laughs> no, it's sad. Half the crowd... Standing there with your face. With your fucking face. No, it's sad, though, Louie. Half the yeah. crowd pointed at one dude, and, and it's not him. That's, oh, that's oh, shit. That's not good. It must have been him. <laughs> that's not good. But... Oh, no. And uh, remember... Oh, then we have a... And so... Willie, Willie Nelson's here. Yeah, Willie Nelson's really here. Yes, a right. younger version of Willie Nelson. <laughs> also, a guy that uh, saw a Asian, a retarded Asian midget in Target. And remember, uh, time of our life, one of our favorite bits of all time. Yep. The guy uh, Dan is here, who gave us that song back in the day. Wow. And he's got a band, and he would like us to play one of his tracks. So maybe we'll do that as well. Does it have the same lead singer as uh, Time of Our <laughs> Life? Because that guy could sing. Hi. <laughs> It's too long to play now, isn't it? Yeah. All right, we'll just break and we'll continue. When you go to Zapping Show, there are four words that you must know. Learn to punch out. I'm punching out. I'm punching out. Punching out. Punching out. You can have a clue. Francine. We should get right into the Francine thing. You want to talk to the audience a little bit as Francine uh, sets up? No. All right, fuck you guys up. She there. needs to set up. Hi, Francine. Like how the, are like you? This is Francine, uh, Louis C.K. Hello. Anthony. Hello. Wow. Hey, Louis. Hi. Hey, Patrice. Whatever. Uh, whatever. <laughs> Wait a minute. Why did you sit down, Francine? Yeah, we were all just... Stand up for a second. Well, up. Francine's wearing Stand a nice little... Minute. You, you got like an it. 80s look almost. I got a, a tan, little too. Off the, oh. off the shoulder sweatshirt with a neck a cut out of it. Yeah. I bet you got polka dot panties on or something, right? Is there a design on them? No, nah, it's a solid color. No way. How much solid. you want to bet? I bet you some polka kind of dot stripes or yeah, polka dots. Yeah, you know on. better than I would. Why don't you show stripes. Patrice? Huh? Show Let's Patrice take a little bit. Is it Oh, it's all tropical. And she got skinny girl stretch marks, which just already fills my... <laughs> when skinny <laughs> girls <laughs> have stretch marks around their ass, like it's just... That's like a great name for oh, a band or... Oh, my goodness. <laughs> skinny, skinny, skinny girl stretch size. marks. <laughs> that would be awesome. Oh, That's going to be... Patrice's single. Oh, uh, wait, pull it all the way down to the meat. To the meat. Right. Yeah, give Patrice a look at the meat. Just down to the meat. Patrice, meat. I'm not going to touch it. Just let me see. Let me I'll, see. Just a look at the meat. Oh, my goodness. Do you see that? Do you see that? <laughs> yeah, Patrice is <laughs> all delicious, man. Patrice loves, loves you, Francine. Oh, she looks so Why are you rolling your eyes? She likes white guys. It's fucking sellout. <laughs> are you sellout? <laughs> She You're likes so white loud, guys. Huh? Anytime white guys turn around, Francine, yes, sir, Massa, turn around. I'm like, I'm she like, didn't say and Massa. Just, did you, she did you not say Massa. Looking at her like Kizzy from Roots. I'm going, <laughs> I'm going oh, she looks so sexy. She's like, whatever, Patrice. And you're like, turn around, you dirty little nigglet. And she's pulling, up, <laughs> she's pulling her fucking ass cheeks out. See what I'm saying? See what the fuck? Yep. She was like, raised totally. like you, baby. She was like, raised like in you. Connecticut. We, we she was raised the, in fucking we, Connecticut. We run like, the world, man. What can I say? Hey, listen. We. We, we got all the cards. Stop fucking joining in with white people. <laughs> you fucking conquistador, nigga. You're not white. <laughs> hey, uh, we can at least try. Can we play Slave Girl today? Sure. Oh, what did that How do you play Slave Girl, though? Oh, I'm going to step back. I'm going to play Chicken George as I sit back and watch Why? Him. You don't want to play Slave Girl? How do you fucking play Slave that? Girl? I don't know. We got, like, paddles and stuff. <laughs> How about we we she stands up on here well done, and we we bid on her naked? Oh, can we do oh, that? Come on, Jesus for real Christ. money? No, I don't. And then you just take the money, go home. You don't have to do anything. Jesus Christ! I work. I actually make money. Yeah, kind of, sort of. What do you do? What are you I'm, doing now? I manage buildings in Brooklyn. Wait, you do? You got a new job? 
No. Oh, look how she takes a deep breath of fake confidence in her yeah, job. I oh, I love her. Wait, Francine, wasn't your old job with the old guy that used to, yeah. like, look up your skirt and stuff? Hey. Yeah. So would, would you, you like a job with a, with a young black guy? And <laughs> <same job? laughs> do the same thing. <laughs> Less actual work. Hey, oh, we, they're bringing paddles in here. What the, the fuck is going on? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you, like you don't want to play slave girl, Louie. <laughs> what is, what's Louis, wrong with you? How is this no, the Louis. most casual thing in the world? Louie is asking <laughs> a black girl to <laughs> play slave girl. He's and like bringing a, in a paddle. Like, hey, don't you want to do this? dog people. But you were saying yeah, when he was mad about the dog, he's like, you can't slap that juicy black ass with a paddle. How dare you give me that paddle? <laughs> you of all the audacious, give me the fucking paddle. You watch your own, take down your pants. Did you watch your own TV show? What's wrong with you? <laughs> no, I just don't know. This is all very cryptic. Yeah, um, dude, we got yes. some. We got some great comedic uh, uh -huh. minds in the studio right now. Oh, all right. I just came up with the concept, <laughs> slave girl. Now <laughs> we we <laughs> try to figure out what that means, and we do it. Oh, so there really isn't a slave girl. You just wow. make, you really did make that up. Yeah, yeah. that's fucking not. amazing. We've that's, never done slave girl. That's, that's the beauty awesome. of what we do. Oh, so now awesome. we try to figure out if there's something that. And then someone brings in a paddle, you're spitballing. Well, now we got a paddle, yeah, exactly. so maybe that well, can be worked into the slave right. girl routine. Oh, man. It's kind of hard to picture her as slave girl when she's got the little university oh, shirt on and, 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 and her earrings. And panties look yeah. like a little, you know, yeah. lifesaver. You should be wearing a gunny sack and all like, here's a... Here's a Francine you know. can surprise you. From and a tan. Time. Hold on. Where'd you get a tan from, Francine? Uh, Florida. You have tan lines. Oh yeah. You're a black girl. You got tan lines. Black people tan, you guys. I know, oh, but you yeah. got to be like Only little mocha. Blacks. Little mocha. Do you tan, Patrice? Not really. Look at Just it. shut up. <laughs> <laughs> shut up. Just shut up and pull those panties off. Just roll them down. See, I don't need... This is how weird I am now. Mm -hmm. I don't want to... I don't want to fuck. Just to see new panties roll down from the top yeah, and no, no. to the to the ass. No, that's stops, right. Bam. Done. I remember the for when I was first time I jerked off to a girl. Excuse me, Francine, for the next thirty minutes. Uh, <laughs> no, you haven't heard what she said. I I you haven't Jesus. heard what comes. Some girl mouth. when I was eleven or twelve. Some girl in my junior high school like lifted her shirt a little bit, and I saw like the hemline where her pants meet, and I, I I thought about it later and and fucking came in ten seconds. <laughs> and then I grew up. I had to think about fucking and blowing and getting my ass eaten and <laughs> shit in the face and all that stuff. And now I'm so desensitized and I'm old, I'm 40, I'm back to the only thing that gets me off is a 12-year-old girl lifting, <laughs> lifting the shirt a little bit. Lifting the shirt just a little bit. Don't fucking come all little over Little striped panties just now. I'm going to fuck that. I'm, I'm going to go fuck my girlfriend at her job right after this Really? Show. Just thinking about that. Fuck You're going to come in like an officer and a gentleman and just fuck her right now. <laughs> and all the, all the secretaries going to be cheering. You go get her. You get him. <laughs> <laughs> Way to go! Takes your fucking hey hoogie hat off your head, <laughs> put on her head. So are we giving up? Uh, huh? Are we giving up on uh, on slave girl? Oh. Uh, Francine, what do you suggest? She doesn't seem into it. The bit of slave she's... girl. What what are you willing to do? Can I hear what what I have to do as slave no, girl? No, we want you to help us here. He doesn't have it worked out. Oh really? No. What, what what do you think slave girl means? Here's what I think slave girl. Should Wait. Be. Uh oh. Okay. I, I just I just okay. have a quick idea. Let we're we'll spitballing here. I just want to hear uh, the word massa. Once. We run we run down to the pharmacy, uh, right down there, right. Dwayne Reed. Right. Abe. We grab right uh, yeah, a yeah. big uh, bag of cotton balls. Okay. We spread them out. Oh, she then in her panties has to bend over and pick up the cotton as we take the <laughs> wiffle ball and smack her ass. And and tell her to do it faster, but not enough to like uh, leave welts. No, no, because it's, it's like fun. it's soft, it's all in fun, and she's got to stay like yes, master. Here it is. <laughs> yes, Patrice. Oh, see, we Here got him. He's back, He's back with us. Good. All right, Patrice. Slave girl, what is it? You are going to kill her black. Boy. I'm her father. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and you gonna uh, kill me, right? Yeah. And she has to beg. Mm -hmm. Massa, whoever Massa is. All right, Louis C.K. You have to con <laughs> convince. Because he's a minority. Like hanging on his leg. How that'll work. Convince Massa not to kill Dad. But where's the nudity? In, in like old world she, speak, Penny. Something. She has to do everything she needs to do. Yeah, it's like, well, what, what, please? I'll do anything. And I'll then, do anything. Do we get to really anything, kill you? Anything, Missy. Do it right? <laughs> you get to. I'm. I'm in the. I'm. I'm shackled. <laughs> right. You're. You're shackled. I'm shackled. Think King Kong. And she's. Jesus. Can you, <laughs> let, let us yes. stay. I just told you. Don't <laughs> fucking fuck it up by being racist. I was feeling it. Oh, yeah, none of this it's is racist. racist. Enough. This is this. <laughs> I'm already slave. I thought this we were history. History. It's not, it's I thought not we were enough. We're white. We want you to be a fucking gorilla. Point. 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 Point
I thought we reached a point where we all get a pass. No, we were doing it. No, 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 we were doing it. You're pitching that you're a You're pitching that you're a shackled slave daddy. He says King Kong and you're offended. We were doing something almost like a Civil War reenactment, though. That's fine. It's history. Extra racism? Right. You actually made that racist fucking scenario racist. It's not. It's radio. We got to paint pictures for everybody out there. Damn, nigga, what the fuck? Yeah, come on. I already had myself shackled with my daughter. My innocent daughter ready to fuck white my guys. Life. We're saying it in loose. a way that the white listeners will palpably get the point of what you're saying. I, I like it's like in that thing. movie with uh, yeah. Yeah. Samuel Jackson when he tells his lawyer, tell them what the white people what they need to hear. Yeah. yeah. Yep. We need them to hear King Kong. Oh, she wrote up a, a new script and everything. My too, life right? is in your hands, Francine. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, what do you, <laughs> what do you want to do with Slave Girl? I don't know how to do You've Slave Girl. You've said some horrific things on, on this uh, show. So. I like the idea that Slave Girl is like a college girl like her. Yeah. If there would have been a Slave Girl, the <laughs> master no. would have been like, I'm going to kill your pa. And she would have been like, oh, my God, really? Oh, that's <laughs> weird. I could, weird. like, pay you because I have a job. I'm so tired of cotton. It's just that sick of it. I, I... I'm not a dad. Right. I'm not a dad. Okay, well, who no, are you? Okay. I am. I am her. Um, He's so hard. I'm her right lover. Now. He is. Oh, so hard. now you're a lover. And, and like in the thing is, like, she's fighting for my life, Too but long. She, Too the, long. The, she's using the sexuality to. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. Are you a house nigger or field nigger? Say <laughs> field. <laughs> wow. I said Patrice's field too. Yeah, yeah. I be house. Your house. <laughs> she's house and he's field. Right, and and here's how it is. She's she has to feed me. You That's have right. to. You, listen, you you're protecting me. That's how yeah, she brings saying. food from the house out to the right, field, and you and you, and need, you eat it all sweaty. Wait, Mass is fucking her. <laughs> you eat it all sweaty. Patrice, goes, Mass is thanks. fucking her, but you two are in love. So yeah. you guys are fucking, and yeah. Mass is raping her, and you find out, and you go to kill Massa. And Massa turns around, and you know he's got better guns and shit than you, though. So he's gonna kill you, and then yeah. she's got to beg for your life. Yeah, and right. and you gotta watch her get fucked by Massa yeah. as you go like, oh Lord, and Lord, and Lord, no, oh my baby, no, no, oh, it's just like that, yeah. just like that. Yeah, that's how you gotta do it. I like that. Anyone out there have an idea for Slave Girl? <laughs> oh, I'm sure our Fuck fucking brain is. <laughs> Fucking head in the toilet, right? <laughs> <laughs> against the wall, make her eat collard greens. <laughs> dude, dude, I beat her, right? And then beat her again, dude. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah. Imagine yeah. if there were still slaves, what your <laughs> listeners would do with their slaves. Oh, oh my God. God. You know what I do to my fucking slave today? Dude, you wouldn't you fucking oh, guess dude. what I did last night to this fucking cunt. <laughs> <laughs> And then well, I she traded. got fucking mouthy. And then she got shitty, so I traded her to my friend for another one. <laughs> Dumbass, you didn't even know I fucking beat oh, the God, shit this, out of her. You're getting ready to wash a dish for fucking weeks. <laughs> slavery you, would have just gotten worse. What Imagine fucking over? 21st century <laughs> slavery. Awful. What are you reading okay. over there? What just <laughs> awful. And what are you reading? I'm torn. <laughs> <It's> so, <laughs> Patrice uh, caught my eye. I'm like, should I or should I? Oh, go ahead? man, I see you reading these cocksuckers. What are they telling you? Well, Snap Man from Whack Bag might have wrote, shouldn't Patrice be a lot thinner for a field nigger? <laughs> <laughs> oh my that God. is pretty fucking funny. What the fuck did you bring in? E-Rock. <laughs> right, we got e has got like an African fucking mask. Oh, we took and this lays. Oh, you gotta keep it sexy. We gotta, she got on straight. I know, I, I know. We I know. You're Uga taking Binga the sexy out of mask. it. You don't take, see the, 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 the right, really, she got on straight. Rainbow panties, man. Yeah, with, yeah. with with Come on. with skinny girl up for stretch stuff, marks, right? man. Sure. Can we just like, um, hmm. can she read the news in her panties at least? What do you got on um, under <laughs> the, the really... sweatshirt? Because I see spaghetti straps. Uh, it's a bra. I'm just asking. No, yeah, I'm, I'm just not telling. saying anything. It's a bra. Just a little shirt. A right, girl. We got in with some kind of slave girl <laughs> thing. Right, you you, gave, news, you gave me a little head movement back and forth on that one. I'm, I'm just do some, telling. Why don't we do some news with Francine and maybe the slave girl thing will develop. Uh, e uh searching for more props. So. <laughs> oh, God. He's got a fucking Ubangi mask That's so funny. There. I really thought there was a whole slave girl thing. <laughs> no, I no, wasn't no, here. No, no. I just I love that you just said, hey, let's play slave girl. You didn't have any idea what. Nah, that, that, meant. That, that would mean show prep. Oh, yeah. no, but that's yeah. awesome. That's inspiring. We would actually have to have meetings and stuff. Yeah, yeah. fuck yeah. that. Yeah. Fuck Why that. not work things out on the air? Yeah. Right. Yeah. That's the beauty of this <laughs> satellite radio. It's great. Oh, over at the other joint, we're well prepared, though, I'll tell you. Our listeners like to call it phoning it in. Yeah. <laughs> Almost literally. Yeah. All right. Do you, you got some news for us? Uh, yes, I do. Ah. 
This is just as good as playing Slave Girl, by the way. Because she reads Pain just as please. bad. Mm-hmm. Well, she got... Oh, look. She can't stand black people. See, that's the thing. Why don't you like, like black people, Francine? She don't like black people. Yeah, but that makes you hard it's when she, black, she looks at you like that. Black guys don't like me. Are you, I'm, are you, I'm, I'm already coming. I got pre-cum. <laughs> 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 just looking at you in a He's delicious drizzling. little pants. You're too white-itized. You've been like... And she's a little with too the thin. White. She's a little too thin too. Are you? No man. ass, yeah. right? Exactly. No ass for the little black man. Titties. She's like built like a like a stripper and shit. But uh, you know, I, I I date girls with big old asses, big old titties. So this is like fun to you know. Big fun old to look ones. At. So old black guys too. don't like uh, at all. Turn sideways for me. We got another prop for slave girl, Louie. If you want to turn around, see that? See there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with it. What's like? What would a black guy? Why would a black guy look at that and go like, "That's bullshit"? You can grab her whole, both ass cheeks with your hand, by just like it's a, it's just, it's not enough fucking meat. But it's it's delicious. How to me. black guys like the girls you see on fucking Maury saying that yes it is your baby, no it's not your baby, that that, that like those big fat, fat women. Yep. How they enjoy that is beyond me. It's beyond they don't, me. They don't enjoy that. We they enjoy gotta it. every time you fucking see uh, one of those shows. It's true. Well, it's not like these. the guys on that show have their pick, to, pick of the litter. Go to like I don't like uh, girls like Pamela Anderson. Go to round, round, <laughs> round, round, com, round and brown. That's com. what they oh, got to choose from. Oh. Round and Their brown. Choices are that fat chick and, brown and the other fat chick. <laughs> Sorry. You look delicious. I want right, to like Let's see if she well, can. Let's see if she's got some news for us. Read the first story. If if we're bored, we're gonna go right back to slave girl. Oh. You shave, Winston. Yeah. Oh, God. Damn, round and brown is all right in my book. That's what I'm talking about. Holy shit. Yeah. Like oh, they greased that shit up. Look at the white guys. <laughs> white guys fucking that chick. What the nice fuck, fuck Patrice? Yeah, yeah really. Yeah. Oh, my God. Look at that this shit. Is like what are them white asses the doing on there? Yeah, what's up with the white asses? No, she ain't white. She's black. She's just yellow. She's she's mixed. That's yeah. Uh, that's just more white than shit. black. I mean, Let's scroll down a little more there. Uh, There's uh, a right, brown. They grease them up. And what is it? <laughs> Brown. What is it, just like white guys fucking black chicks? Yeah, it's just... Ah, uh, you gotta oh. go with the view sample video. Always, uh, All right. worth the chuckle. Always take a little look. I'm sure that'll so. put a nice virus on the fucking computer. <laughs> 80,000 pop-ups when you go to CNN.com. Yeah, Mars is gonna have his work cut out for him after we leave his joint today. It's infected. No, oh. this is going. This is uh, this this is pretty good. I got a right. sexual content warning. <laughs> oh, I thought oh, brown, no. brown was uh, something else. Like there she is. Uh, uh, dude, wasn't right. she on the Flavor of Love? Probably. She kind of looked like that chick. Look at that. Just delicious. Mm-hmm. She she don't have like you got what you got an A cup or something little baby things. Yeah, if I have small boobs. Oh, oh that sure. means you try harder. It's okay. Look at that. That Ooh, nipples look and uh, like baby fingers. Well, uh, there she goes. She's greasing up her ass. It's greasing. all about greasing up the asses on Round and Brown. Oh, yeah, man. You got greasy, wobbly booties, man. Come on, man. Greasy, wobbly booties. <laughs> <Now> she's uh, <laughs> <a> novel. <laughs> she's like got Hershey really kisses long. for nipples. Hershey's kiss. Those look like fucking... And then white and sloppy, sloppy dudes. Here's Slave. Here's Slave Girl right here. Those are fucking moon right, pies. Yeah, this is what we want to do for Slave Girl right here. <laughs> 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 yup for it. Yup for it. Holy shit. We got our idea for Slave Girl. Getting some mileage out of her. Wow. She looks very enthusiastic. Uh, she ain't even feeling that. Oh, baby. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, are we actually <laughs> just watching <laughs> porn right now? Are you going to validate my parking? <laughs> oh, ah, and then the money shot thing. on the ass. Yeah. <laughs> well, little cum on her ass. Yeah, round and brown. Round and brown. Fucking, nothing looks sadder and more cut. pathetic than white guys cum on a black girl. <laughs> <laughs> it just looks sad sitting there. Just dribbled out. Like it's all I could do. I'm sorry. <laughs> Why? What, what is, who came up with the domino thing? Hmm. Remember? That's what it looks like when you... Oh, you oh. finish on a black girl's back. <laughs> yeah, dom- domino. <laughs> Make her look like a domino. <laughs> I I know it. A couple little dribbles. <laughs> was it? Oh, instant feedback. Yeah, it gets credit for that. All like right, dribble. the news with Francine. What do you or got, Francine? Shit, when you have high hepatitis, your shit looks like dominoes. <laughs> anyway, go ahead. Does it? Yes. <clears throat> I'm sorry, go ahead. Uh, she's getting mad at you. Mm. She just gave you the eye, like, shut up, it's my turn. Oh, no, 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 I didn't. No, I saw it. It's okay. Look at her eyes. Got all big with the white man got mad. Yeah. Like, no, yeah. Lord, mm-hmm. no, no, no. 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 
Can I no, please that's stay fine. in the house? I didn't mean it, sir. Don't send me to the field. <laughs> <laughs> Let me stay in the house. I just do anything to read the All news. right, mister, get me a mint julep. <laughs> <laughs> and you can stay in the house. Just don't read. <laughs> <laughs> don't let my daughter teach you how to read. She got ideas. <laughs> I think you got to stay care. It, yes, it is fake. I'm trying to figure out where it's fake. Hair. Oh, you have a weave? hair. There's a, there's a weave. It's not a weave, though. No. Uh, no, it's not a weave. It's braided in. It looks Isn't nice. That what a weave is? Thank you. Mm. It's weaved in. Yeah, weave is different. Weave is is mm -hmm. it's a hairstyle and they and they and they glue it on hair. Yeah. She yeah. braid. That's, those are braids. Braids. I fake you. hair and her real hair oh, braids. braids. Looks very good. different than. All right, let's guys. do the news. Yeah. See how black people know that white guys don't really know that, baby. See. see yeah, well, know? knowing that doesn't do you. Any Boy, she just looks at you with nothing. Nothing. It, I her, like you, Patrice. Because she knows. As she you knows, roll your eyes. She knows the evil in my heart. Yeah. yeah. She can control white guys. She knows what's gonna happen. I'm gonna yank them braids right out. Uh, that's one good. by yeah, because we would we wouldn't know. We like, okay, how does this work? Like we would be very tentative <laughs> with her. Yeah, you would. Yeah. You know Just what tell it is, me though? how do I fuck a black chick? I'm not trying to do it. Uh, I'm going to look to you for guidance. <laughs> you could. Uh, it's because she... direct me to the. Where do you keep the vagina? I'm not sure. <laughs> black women keep these things. By the way, she's much safer in here than she's out there. She's accessible yeah, as guys. a black woman to They're white guys. At the yeah. bit. It's not like at, you're at the... like I would be scared. To have sex with a real black woman, mm. you're like a white black woman. You're you got you got everything you need to be fucking a black woman. Yeah, she's like the starter kit. Yeah, you're yeah, a starter you... kit for white guys if they, they want to go uh, jungle fever. They they have sex with you right. and look and say, hey, I'm fucking a black girl. Hey, that but wasn't it's like, much different than what I'm used to. It's like level one. Yeah. Yeah, and then you're ready for, like, the serious black fucking, I'm going to yeah. suck your dick. You're not going to start with that. You best fuck my ass. You best fuck this yeah, ass. Fuck I don't even feel that dick, you little faggot. <laughs> oh, great. <laughs> what the fuck? You don't want to step up, take it down, and go, uh-uh. Oh. You think Man, you're satisfying me with that shit? Come up into me with that bullshit. Yeah, you do not <laughs> want that. First fucking time out. Where is it? You know, Francis she's not that nice. Teaching. No, that's what. That's you what. Gotta get up to that yeah, thing. you got to work your no, way up as a white that's guy. What, like black women that work at the DMV, that kind of fucking right. intimidating. You take your dick out, and she's like, "Where's your dick? Yeah, I don't see a dick. <laughs> I mean, take your dick out. <laughs> don't just stand there. Come take in. it out. Hold it is. on, motherfucker. Oh, don't put that shit back in. Come in, Cheryl. Yeah, come on, look at this. Pauline, come here. Is this a dick to you? That ain't even a dick. A dick to me, honey. He got his underwear. Down and still he ain't got a dick. <laughs> uh, this is my penis. I thought it was fine. Man, that ain't a dick. Yeah, shit. That's the most intimidating thing a guy can fucking be subject to. Man, give to. me a thousand dollars, white guy. Yeah, just for having a look at that shit. Oh, fuck out of here. She has one thousand dollars. Give me some money for having a look at. This. Just because your your dick is so small. You owe me a thousand dollars. Where's my motherfucking money? <laughs> That's what would happen. She won a thousand dollars. That's it. All right. That's all. When I stand in line at the DMV and look at those women, that's all. I just picture how. Little regard they, they would give me. Face against the window. Just laughing. Step back, some nigga. Oh, oh, oh laughing all muffled by the glass. <laughs> what you rest? Oh, for? child, here's your license renewed. You just take it. Don't <laughs> have to pay. It. You no. need to drive somewhere and go get yeah. yourself a bigger dick. <laughs> go drive and buy yourself a dick. I'll pay for the rest of your registration, God, nigga. Damn. <laughs> Let's, we'll try the news again. Let's right. see. Yeah, oh, yeah, that's right. Go ahead. Jump mm, in there. Sorry, delicious. It's okay, Patrice. Mm. Uh, America continues to be outraged by Brits who play softball with the Iranian leader Hamid Ahmadinejad to, re <laughs> to release their 15 Royal Navy officers who are trespassing in Iranian waters. Now, uh, the war in Paris has been going on for about six years. So today, the editorial. I'm <laughs> someone typing the back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, very important we're news. Doing, we're doing nice. <laughs> okay. Doing nice around here. She gives you the uh, the highlights, the headlines, and then she kind of editorializes. Editorial yeah, bit, the, yeah, that's that's the price of admission, by the yeah. way. Yeah. Today, I'm going to tell President Bush and Tony Blair how to win the war on terror. <laughs> oh shit! Wow, wow, finally. All right. You take a giant bomb. And strap it to the Arabian Peninsula and most of North strap Africa. Mm, just strap and it then on. just let it rip. There are going to be some casualties and some innocent lives lost. Might be but helpful. the war on terror will be won. 
Mm. Ah, so you're saying just strap a bomb to the Arabian Peninsula. Peninsula. And most of what? North Africa? North Africa. And just blow it up. Yep. And People, then it'll be everything. Over. I agree with you. No more really war on terror. Thank you. All right. Really I'm saying after you submit crazy. that. Thank you. And uh, nobody will mind. Nobody. There'll be no repercussions. People will just go. <laughs> people will just go. Well, all right then. <laughs> <laughs> I guess they went ahead and did that today. <laughs> all they right. Finally, strap a bomb on. Oh, 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 that, that, that was interesting. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, who's on American Idol? It'll just move. Life will just move on. <laughs> nobody yeah. will. All right. What do we got next? Back. Making the run for the White House under Republican ticket is former mayor of New York, Rudy Giuliani. Oh. David Salzenstall of the Daily News quotes Giuliani on his ideals on abortion. He says, ultimately, it's an individual right of the woman. Uh, she should have the choice. Uh, Rudy, there are three fundamental Republican core rules. Number one... No abortions. Number two, no faggots. And three, higher taxes for the poor and the ultimate annihilation of blacks and Jews. So, if you want to win, <laughs> you should either run as an independent or drop out. Wow. Was that, wow. Was that agenda taken right from Giuliani's like, yeah. website? Oh, yeah. Thank you. Oh, thank no, you. No faggots. No faggots, yeah. Ooh. She's just echoing my sentiments. Like, she's oh, amazing. She can read she's minds. fucking amazing. <clears throat> and the ultimate humiliation of the blacks and Jews, was that what? And Heli. Annihilation. Oh, annihilation. Annihilation. No, annihilation. You have to snort the blacks and Jews. Annihilation. 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 And speaking of those who should have considered an abortion is Beverly Boniello, the woman who in 1997 gave birth to 11 set of sustuplets in history. Beverly and her husband Rocco who gave birth to six kids, or as I like to call them, 18-year leeches, are celebrating the sex tuplet's 10th birthday this week. So kudos and stretch marks to you, Beverly. Hey. Wow. Right. Much more subdued that was, that delivery. Was a, that was like a light, uh, yeah. a human interest piece. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was like she a, seems yeah. Now the lighter side she of seems the sad today. Yeah. You're sad, aren't you? No, I'm not. Nervous? No. Oh, she's taking news. Intimidated? Seriously. On drugs? <laughs> drugs? Yeah. I can't do drugs. No? Why? Why? Because uh, it confuses her with the other drugs you do. <laughs> <laughs> no, I have the a ones bad that reaction. Are prescribed. What, what kind of drugs have you tried and had bad reaction with? Paxil? Uh, no, I did marijuana, and I Ooh. I went crazy. Little Mary Jane, reefer madness. That's always that's just the first time you go nuts. Yeah. No. You went crazy. What what kind what happened? Something. Crazy. With uh, you. So let's see. The second time I did marijuana, I didn't realize it, but I went on a I think it's called bipolar disorder or something. Yeah. Yeah, I had one of those. It was bad. And what was it? What happened? I try to describe it. Well, it started off with a lot of sex with the boyfriend. Oh, please tell me someone has fucking marijuana out there. <laughs> <laughs> Who's carrying? <laughs> Just pump it into the vents of the studio here. Last time I smoked pot, I blew eight guys. <laughs> I can't do that anymore. By the ninth guy, I felt like I might no. have a problem here. No. What else? But so you had sex with your boyfriend. And I didn't just have sex with him. I sucked his dick, like, a lot. Oh, wow. Like, and you never do that, right? Not really. It was just crazy. Wait, when you say you sucked it a lot, you mean, like... <laughs> like, I sucked it so hard, like, I popped my jaw or wow. something. Like, Cause when it sounds like wow. you sucked it all, like, he's just walking around the house and you're just attached to his dick. <laughs> his dick. Pretty much, yeah. Oh, really? <laughs> I'm going to take Francie in the hall and just knock on doors. You got me, nigga. Because he's sucking dick. <laughs> 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 There's not so a lot it, of wow. weed hose. That's you pretty, suck that's this pretty, dick a lot. Weed oh, hose, God. pretty. That's pretty rare. Did he finish? This girl will do All anything for a hit All the time. Pot. Yeah. And what happened? What'd you do with it? Aspirin <clears throat> What? What'd you do with the stuff? Did you spit it out or swallow it or what? Uh, well, it depends if he came in my mouth or my ass. Well, yeah, obviously you, you can't <laughs> swallow yeah. it from your ass. <laughs> I'm just saying, you said you sucked his dick a lot. Just saying, did you swallow it? Yes, I saw Oh, you did. Okay, I'm just wondering. Cause that, did he ever get she, tired of you sucking crazy. his dick? Did he ever go, she could you please stop sucking my dick? No. Yeah. Yeah. She, she does white... 
like stuff that like usually it's hard to come in a black girl's mouth. It's hard to do any of that special shit she won't if, you don't train, if you don't train. <laughs> anyway, so then I went to shut up. Let me come in it. Just fucking. Oh, you know, I just want to tell you about. And then that bitch was talking. Mm. And, I'm trying to come in your mouth. You ain't putting that in here. Uh-uh. It's a lot of that. You gotta you gotta fight hard to get it to do like that's just out of the question. So she does all of that. Swallows, mm. takes it in the booty, everything. Well, that right? was because I was. I you was, were high on yeah, the Yeah, I was like going crazy. So, so, so regular yeah. now, what's your, what's your thing sexually now that you're not You on plus drugs? pot equals several loads in the mouth. Right. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So you went like crazy like that, fucking in the ass. Everything. Everything. Wow. <laughs> No condoms. <laughs> wow. Oh, that's smart. So uh, th is that all the craziness, or what else happened that was crazy? Um, then I came out to New York City, and uh, I don't know. I think it was some kind of mania thing, but I was roaming the streets of New York. Just I'd, cum dripping had, all over her. No, Wait a minute. So the blowing your boyfriend a million times was the depression part, then? Maybe. <laughs> like the down? Maybe that uh, was the so down. Just wandering the streets of New York. in the ass constantly. Without shoes? Yeah, I ran away from home. Mm. Uh, How old were you? 21. Right. Hmm. So you just left your apartment. What do you mean you ran away from home? No, you I went home with your parents. <laughs> I was living with my mom. Yeah, it was the summertime. Left my home home house. Slash huh? Ran home away from home. I'm 27. Okay. Jesus. So 21. You're you're wandering the streets of New York. I'm happened? partying with like strange people. Mm. Uh oh. I woke up. I was. This is after uh -oh. one joint. This is one joint. Could have had angels. <laughs> she blames on her entire twenties like on one joint. joint. I smoked a joint and then I went and got this job and <laughs> made these friends with these people. <laughs> so it fucked uh, up your mind. The reaction fucked the your mind. The reaction up. really. It, when I woke up like yeah. in the hospital with an IV drip, like get was, the fuck out of here. Yeah, I was like, okay, I, maybe I shouldn't do weed anymore because yeah. I uh, took that somebody, IV. Somebody put something in that weed. You sure you weren't uh, drinking also? I was drinking too. Oh, okay, maybe you were like. OD'd on alcohol or something. No, it wasn't that much. No? Unless they put something in my drink. Mm, maybe slipped you a Mickey. An old Mickey Finn. So now, no no dick sucking, no ass fucking, nothing? Well. Yeah, she'll take it in the ass. I haven't done it in a while. But I do. You haven't had sex in a while? It's been about a month. <clears throat> really? <laughs> Two months, I think. Actually. You ever do a girl? Yes, I have. You like yeah, it? There's a little delay there. Yeah. Knew it. They always have to delay. Yeah, it's like, yeah, yeah, sure. No, I didn't really like it. It's no. just for show, the delay. What are you doing tonight? <laughs> uh, I'm going to see that movie with Tarantino. Oh, I right. know. Yeah. Where are you going to see it? I think it's 42nd Street somewhere. By yourself? No. No, come on. She has She's just going to walk up one, please. That's right. <laughs> She's Look fucking crazy enough, too. <laughs> she wouldn't do that. shit. She no one's going to let her go by yeah, herself. She sucked the usher's dick. Um, <laughs> just you got in. some weed? I'll say, dick, let me watch Grindhouse, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> we got to get her high and just have her do a show for 202. What? And she'll get How, uh, and you better know what? at 34. The, the thing is, like, the, the only way I can, like, really orgasm really good is by smoking weed. So uh, I have been really? thinking about it. You're like a commercial for pot. Yeah. <laughs> it's amazing. One last story. Your best one. Um, okay. I'll do celebrity news. Ah. Celebrity news. Yep. Uh, People Magazine <coughs> reports that San Antonio Spurs basketball star Tony Parker, who's engaged to Desperate Housewives star Eva Longoria, is releasing a rap album in French. Question, Tony. What are you talking about in this album? Eating croissants while painting with a beret in the streets of Paris? You're not a rapper. Just play your stupid basketball and keep fucking your stupid fiancé. Wow. Totally. Like, uh, totally. exactly how I felt about that situation, too. Yeah, me too. Totally, man. Me and you, we see eye to eye. Laugh. Oh, it's amazing. Like, yeah. Time to fucking say it like it needs to be said. Like, like it. Yes. Oh, thank you. Bravo. Bad game. Yeah. Oh, boy. Hey, love it. Oh. Absolutely. Thank you. <laughs> Absolutely. All right, well, can we play Slave Girl now? <laughs> if we must. You want to get, you want to get uh, a paddle to the butt? I'll That's take it. a paddle for the team. 
and and say like mm. just anything with the word massa in it would would work for everybody, right? I yeah. still I think just she ma- should keep ma- the ma- voice. Massa, massa, don't. Massa, please don't. Yeah, but she should say it like she says it now, because the, the whole fantasy to me is the 21st century slave. Yeah, master, massa. I like, not. You just <laughs> work the word massa in there, like either don't or whatever. Whatever you think might turn on. Do you on mind asking priest. her nicely? Can she do it just with the little pink, uh, little striped uh, panties? <laughs> yeah, that's all right. Just showing. We right? won't. We won't do a video of that. Yeah, no video. Just but just a little. Just so I can see the little stretch marks. It's for Patrice. I, I, it'll look, just get me through the day. Look at him. Do something for he, your he's people. He's been sad all day. <laughs> You, you did cheer me up. Your, your panties cheer me up. Oh, but he's been sad all day. Really? Said, You've yeah, been just sad? Li- just like that's another, that's another song on your record. So I thought you just got married. <laughs> your panties cheered me you up. You should be happy. <laughs> you got married? This is the record he has of ballads where he's wearing a sweet jacket. She's got married, everyone. Her panties <laughs> cheered me up. Yeah. What? <laughs> yes. <laughs> And I hate that bitch. Right. Can you? <laughs> right. here's the, well, here's the deal. Uh, we can't have E-Rock spank you. Last time he did that, he left welts. Yeah. I, who, I who, heard. <laughs> it, it, no joke. I mean, the pictures are on the internet. It was brutal, and it was just one paddle, right, or one slap. Can Fan do it? He's he's gentle. Fan has a thing. Who wants to? Who wants to play slave girl with Francine? Can't have a listener do it, unfortunately. Danny, Danny, Danny! Do don't abuse it, Danny. Danny's just not, be nice. Like white enough. <laughs> <laughs> I was hoping someone like, you know, Travis, like as white as Eastside Dave or something. I know, but he's not here. Anymore. I know, but, you know, someone equally as white. Don't get nobody hates women because they're going to come in and Damn. hit her with the other, the, the, the sharp part. The, yeah. Not the paddle part, the fucking. I like this. He's going to wind up and just crack her across the head. Like it's a sword. Can we get this video up on, like, YouTube and stuff? You, no. you screaming massa as you're getting spanked? No. Oh, yeah, they won't pull that off in a second. <laughs> Will they? Jesus Christ. Yeah, this guy oh, is, this is not the fantasy. Uh, this guy does not look born, white. Yeah, I've seen that. This dude, dude, shirt with a paddle on it. Here. The guy knows his yeah, paddling. I know. It's uh, Sean of the Dead Cricket Bat yeah. shirt. All right, let's get this going, dude. Right. Yeah, we got to go home. And Louis C.K. is going to get us to noon. All right. Uh, but can just yeah. Like, I mean, a, what the fuck, Francine? If you're gonna play slave girl, you gotta play slave girl. There okay, go. we're gonna play slave girl. Oh, get that wedgie out. Oh God. You gotta give uh, Patrice a little something. Get that little that wedgie is. out. Wait a minute. Bend can over we, the, 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 the 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 little panties, man. <laughs> no, bend over the. Nah, it can't be that way. It's gotta be sideways. So get the chair. The panties too. Have her bend Francine. over the chair. That way yes? you get a front kind of side view. view. And the chair's got wheels, so can you, you hit her hard enough that it yeah. propels her? <laughs> <laughs> Launches her head through the wall. All right, now how many paddles I have Not to Not a take? lot, and don't hurt it. Just <laughs> slow it as well. Let me just, just make the jiggling then, happen. Just, oh, Jesus, and a little baggy, too. Because <laughs> it don't fit. Oh, there you go. There you, you go. Pull them up. So All right, wait, before this, you have to say something with Master in it before this starts. Please, like, please don't, don't please do don't what hit you're going to do. Master, please, please don't hit me, Master. Master, man. Yeah, Master. Don't, don't work the T. The T is yeah. ruins it. Yeah. Please don't wow, Master's Master. good, yeah. You gotta Master? Pull your panties yeah. up a little, too. Oh, they baggy. There you go, pumpkin. Do you know how to act? Oh, like, get into the role. There you go. Okay. That's, that's, that's that one. Oh, look at that. One yeah. more. Wait, one more pull. It's 1850. One more it's pull. Roll. One more pull. There it is. In the middle. It's in the middle. 1850. <laughs> it's a, there you it's go. towards there the you. waning days of slavery. Yes. Yeah, it's the last mass is still taking advantage. <laughs> <laughs> the last dude. She's like the last <laughs> douchebag. <laughs> <Right>. Yes. <laughs> the Yankee Army's fucking down the road, man. <laughs> no, you're going to make me do this again? He's like, come on. Give me a break. <laughs> right. I you got 15 minutes left. I'm totally fucked. You know they're going to burn my house. Down. <laughs> Come on. All right. All right. Uh, line. Spank me, Massa. Oh, she wants it. Oh. Ah. Oh. Spank me harder, Massa. This thing. <laughs> you gotta no, say no, it with wait, some don't emotion. Hit, don't hit me, man. No, Massa. You, you don't no. want it. You don't. She's you don't want it. Girl, you gotta explain no, it to man. her. Get a little emotion. No, go. Master. Oh, please. Yeah, you. You totally don't know about slavery. Yeah, See, no, you, no, are, you didn't like please. this. No, <laughs> Massa. Please don't hit me. No, uh, Massa. No, Massa. Please don't hit no, me. No, there's gotta be a panic in your voice. Uh, Louis C.K. is a big. He's a big wig in the entertainment business. You never know. You never know. I could put you in a movie. I made Pootie he wrote, he wrote. Yeah. He, he wrote with Chris Rock. He's yeah. got a watch proving it. Say like, uh, just say, oh no, master, like like no oh, master, please, no master, please don't hurt me. No master, please don't hurt me. Not bad. 
If it hurts. Oh, it fucking hurts. <laughs> <laughs> She's pissed at him. He's the most sheepish. Like, the worst acting is him. That's supposed yeah. to be a slave master, I and know. he's, like, all sheepish and giggling as he hits like, her in the end. Is... No like authority. You're... He's supposed to be standing there in an ascot, uh, fucking... Well, it's like you're gently pushing her through the Underground Railroad. <laughs> you're fucking... <laughs> what are you doing? Okay. All right. Let's like, go again. Like, we want to hear some fear. You're, you're scared. This is about to go down. Uh oh. Oh please, no. Master. Oh please, Master, don't spank me. Oh don't burn the house down. <laughs> what? Uh, why why would why would the master burn his own plantation out? We know what you motherfuckers used to do to us. I'm gonna the burn my part, house down. The worst part is that this is what it was probably like back then. The dude was standing there going, Come on, could you fucking put some thought into this? And the black girl slave who's bored, whose ass is so callous from spanking, she doesn't feel shit. She's like, No, master, please. Oh, come on, you used come to on. fucking cry. Oh, I don't care anymore, honestly. Fuck <laughs> <laughs> it. Like All right. Can I get a black right. slave right. girl that would Hold cry? On. We got another take. All right, All right. here we go. Let's I like the again. emotion you had so and everything. Far, so good. Just uh, some more scenarios. Do we that need don't anything from Danny? Burning the house no, down. No, no, that's good. No, that's Danny can keep his mouth shut. Uh, yeah, because yeah. that's where we yeah. draw the lines. There's yeah. only one thing. There's <laughs> only one thing he could say. That would really put it over the top. All right. All right. Oh, I've been bad, master. <laughs> <laughs> no, a more emotion, she's, like you're on the verge of know, tears. She, she's she's delving from white girl yeah, to yeah. black slave. Yeah, yeah. Like, oh, I've been uh, so bad, man. All right, you know what? What am I supposed to be again? Am I supposed to be scared? This, yeah, yeah. You're supposed to be a big scared. identity crisis. Right, let's give her scared? motivation. And you're scared. Right. You did something wrong. Maybe think what that might have been. Said, I, I yeah. know I've been uh, bad. I know I shouldn't have whatever. That type of thing. Begging for you a broke, mercy. You broke a fucking crystal glass. <laughs> right. Okay. And the guy, fucking big white guy with a beard came in and sees the shattered glass and looks at you. Wow, you've broken my porcelain. <laughs> this post oh, I didn't mean to, man. There we go. There we go. I didn't mean to. Please don't hit me all that shit. Please yet. don't hit me. <laughs> I won't do it again. <laughs> Oh shit! <laughs> oh shit! Say so young. See, where'd you learn how to I'll talk do, like that? I'll do anything, Master. I'm so sorry. Oh, shit. <laughs> Eddie, can you hit the right cheek, please? Uh, he's <laughs> fucking killing me. He's fucking Hold inconsiderate on. slave owner, right, motherfucker. <laughs> Hold on, we're almost there. All right. I, I like it. She's starting to get into the role now. Yeah, okay. Do it with me, Anthony. I'm feeling it when you do it. Oh, I'm sure. All right. <laughs> but I think breaking a glass is kind of boring. All right, what do you, what do you think? Oh, great. Uh, I don't know. She left like, the barn door open and the learned, horses got loose. Shoot. Maybe she got caught uh, having sex with an animal. I don't know. No, yeah. <laughs> Dark. Uh, what do you think, Louie? She was blowing uh, oh, the neighbor. Patrice. Yeah, no. She's blowing Patrice. Okay, here's the thing. All right, Patrice is what? Patrice is, is, is a field Prince fellow. Field Negro. <laughs> fellow. Field fellow. Okay. A fellow of the field. Field, field gentleman. Person. Field person. Ooh, and he was working. He was cutting uh, fucking cane, cane or whatever near the house. Try, uh, and and, and, and killing the poisonous frogs, too. Yeah. And she was standing on the back porch watching him, and he walked up to get a glass of water. So he was sweating, drinking the glass of water. Uh huh. Too, too, in, too involved. Yeah. She was right. sucking a. Fi she, I'm feel hand. Uh huh. She, she's house, right? Yeah. She was, she was sucking. She got caught sucking my dick oh, in the man. house. I was gonna. Oh, I was, fuck. I was getting there. In the house. In the house. I right, yeah. so you're dead. Massa caught me. <laughs> you're fucking I strung up dead, out back. And she is trying to live. <laughs> That's right. All right. Yeah. You are dead on the floor. So now at her feet. And now as you're pleading, you got to kind of like. Uh, I'm pleading for my life. And yeah. say, I know I did what Patrice said, but. Yeah, mercy, blah blah blah. Started out with a. I think you kind of know that. Because I spit the cum out of your mouth. <laughs> I think you kind of know that if you take this yeah, beating, cool. Mass is gonna jack off on your ass and <laughs> go to sleep. So this part of you that's optimistic because you've been down this road. This isn't the first field nigger that you've blown and gotten killed. Uh, uh, it happens about twice monthly. Split fuck from North Carolina. He's got an idea. Uh, let's say she got caught reading the news. Yes. <laughs> well, they wouldn't. Hey. Look Kindly on that. No, no. No. All yeah. right, let's go. Uh, here, all right. Go. Scene. Now, although scene. if they heard her reading the news, they'd be oh, like, all right, not much of a threat. Wait, wait, go ahead and 
Start me off, Anthony. Oh. Wow, what is this? <laughs> oh, let, me, let me get the scene done. Oh, I'm home from town and wow, wow, what is this I see here? Are you blowing the field, nigga? <laughs> <laughs> down goes Patrice. There goes Patrice. <laughs> what the? Oh, no, Master, I didn't mean to blow the field, nigga. <laughs> oh, my God. All right, we're on to something now. This is crazy. <laughs> we're, we're, we're on to something now. All right. All right, let's try to get to the next line. All right, hold on. Scene again. You, you start with that, Francine. Oh, fuck. Start with that and go from there, and then, and then the bleeding starts. Ready? Go. Oh, no, Master. I didn't mean to blow the field, nigga. <laughs> well, I walked in here and caught you blowing the field, nigga. Now you're going to have to pay. No, Master. I, I was just so horny. <laughs> <laughs> he got me worked up in a furry. Now you take this, you young... <laughs> <laughs> That's it. See, you just have to hit her harder. That's all this takes. How I... dare you bring that boy into my house? Ah! <laughs> you apologize to Massa. I apologize, Massa. Ah! <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh my God! It won't happen again. Yeah, yeah you gotta promise that that yeah, that you won't do what? I I will, I will never suck a field nigga's penis ever. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you be using those educated words, you little missy. <laughs> He's getting all polite on the last word. Now one more spanking and then get me a mid julep. <laughs> yes, man. <laughs> That was hard. Oh, that was fuck. fucking vicious. I, I apologize for that one. <laughs> Even I know that was a little harsh. She didn't even move a muscle. I know, that's the thing. Is she, <laughs> she just took it yeah, like a soldier. She's still she bent over out. with her pants she down. She fucking took the pain. It's deep in her DNA. Like platoon. <laughs> no, like platoon. No, <laughs> take the pain. She took no, the she pain. took the pain like Denzel and with the one tear. <laughs> she didn't even uncross her legs. She didn't get up. No. And she just no. fucking bit down. No, and that was took good. Uh, thank you. Bravo. Uh, wow. That was uh, and see. Wow. Slave girl really too Slave nice. nice. girl works. I like slave girl. Good, man. Does your hiney hurt? Feels good. <laughs> Jeez. Wow. Uh, if any of the girls out there want to play slave, slave girl. girl in the near future, <laughs> please girl contact the Open We don't care if you're fucking Scandinavian. <laughs> <laughs> slave girl contest. <laughs> we got makeup. We don't care how white you are. <laughs> Francine has set the bar pretty high. Though. Yeah, yeah really. absolutely. I didn't Great mean job, to Francine. blow the steel. <laughs> oh, my God. She improv that line. It was perfect. Uh, I, and, uh, and, you know, you built through the whole thing. It started out, you really were just kind of, uh, we're going through the motion of the line you got into character you pulled it off it sounded great thank you fantastic I love the saving the, the you should I love you saving get up there me. like Halle Berry and fucking cry your eyes I'll out I'll never suck a field nigger's <laughs> penis <laughs> my mom might be listening you I don't want to say dick offensive <laughs> by the way Anthony uh, put it over the top uh, very yeah. good Anthony. excellent yeah. she needed, I figured, uh, she needed uh, Anthony I had to help out as the uh, slave master that was an excellent foghorn leghorn slave <laughs> yeah, of master of course it was very good. wow Wow. I say, I say, I say, I, I say. keep pitching, but you keep missing, girl. I say. <laughs> Let's go to Jim the Charles. Okay. About to show up as a sack of wet mice. Hey, Jim, what's up? Hey, love you, love the show. Just want to thank you guys for the best overtime ever. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, good. we're on overtime. Yeah. Jesus. Eleven fifteen. Look at us. All right. Yeah, we're gonna take a, like a quick break, and then Louis's gonna do about it. And at this point, probably about a half hour. That's better. All right, that's better. <laughs> yeah, Louis C.K. is gonna uh, keep the channel live until uh, Ron Fest, and then of course they'll continue. Line of the day brought to you by BodogFight.com's upcoming pay-per-view Clash of the Nations. If you can't make the Las Vegas Virus Tour on the fourteenth, uh, then make sure to catch this showdown of the world's most skilled mixed martial arts fighters. For more info, check out BodogFight.com slash p p. V, here is your runner-up line of the day. See what I'm saying? See what the fuck? Yeah. She was like, raised totally. like you, baby. She was like raised like in you. Connecticut. We, we she was raised in fucking Connecticut. She we like... run the world, man. What can I say? Hey, listen, we? We, we got all the cards. Stop fucking joining in with white people. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking conquistador, nigga. You're not white. <laughs> conquistador. <laughs> Guys, you have fun out there. Yeah.
All right. Yeah, there's a live audience. We had a nice live audience today. Oh, another runner-up line of the day? Boy, last minute. I'm, I wonder what it is. Oh, fuck. Another runner-up line of the day. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to say it. Little... I put cream cheese on my oh. dick, and I let my dog lick it off. Mm -hmm. That's I'm picturing a very young Louis C.K. The reason I blurted it out now is because I can answer the question, why a dog, instead of... Because it's, an, it's Cause anonymity. It's there. <laughs> They're not going to say anything. Yes. It's a warm time. I also showed my dick to a retarded girl down the street. <laughs> Wait a minute. Probably within the same, within the same month or even week. The Wait a minute. Cream cheese probably would have worked on her. Wow. Ah, the old retarded girl. Uh, sure. Cream cheese Francine, thank you. <laughs> you never disappoint. Point. Thank you. Friends the news was all right. Job. Slave Girl was excellent. That was excellent. Love it. We're going to develop that bit with you. Let us know <laughs> when your ass heals and we'll do it again, all right? Okay. All right. Bodogfight.com. Thanks. This is your line of the day. Blow the field, nigga. I hope we don't have to pay for that one. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're it's out a reenactment of actual I history. I sure. love it. It was educational. Let's not forget Patrice tomorrow night on 202 from uh, 9 to midnight. Yeah, Black Phillip. Black Phillip tomorrow night. There was a little delay in there when she almost went, Oh, please, Mass, I didn't mean me. Line? <laughs> Line? What did I do? Oh, I blew a field negative. Oh, that is just all. All right, we're out, but don't oh. go anywhere. Louis C.K. keeps us live yep. until uh, Ron Fez. It's the worst of the OP and Anthony F.U. Line. Fuck everyone. Fuck you. Fuck you. Yeah, I got a big F.U. for my boss. Not fucking promoting me, you stupid cocksucker. I'm going to make your life fucking hell, you douchebag. Suck my fucking dick. Yeah, this goes out to you stupid motherfucking drunk asshole that walked out in front of my kid and got hit by him. And now you're suing me for two and a half million dollars? Fuck you. Fuck you, Jeremy. Fuck you. What you do at work? Fuck you, bitch. I got a big fuck you going out to my neighbor who keeps looking at my wife and thinks looks at her like she wants to fuck him. Fuck you, Kevin, you fucking pussy. Hi, I just want to tell my mom and my brother to fuck off. They are both backstabbing motherfucking assholes. They're two faced and they're the reason I'm addicted to Xanax. Motherfuckers. Call the Opie and Anthony FU line at 866-FU line 1. That's 866-FU line 1. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Yeah, fuck him. Line of the day is brought to you by Bodog. If you want to vote for line of the week, go to iliketolisten.com. Yes. Hey, everybody. It's Louie, CK. I'm on the radio. I've never done this before, so we'll just have to see. How much time do I have? I have half an hour? A little less than that, Okay, yeah. so no matter what, who are you? I'm Than. Than. Yes. All right. Good to meet you. <laughs> um, I see you all the time, but I don't. never had a reason to ask your name. Now you do. Not really. <laughs> okay. All right, no. Um, anyway, so it can only be half an hour. I'm a little sick because my daughter, who's five, uh, coughed into my mouth. <laughs> Because um, two reasons. One is she doesn't give a fuck about anybody else. She's a selfish little cunt. And also because she was trying to tell me a secret. And that's what little girls, when they try to tell you a secret, they talk into your mouth instead of your ear. Because it's, I don't know why. Like, there's any secret a five-year-old is going to tell me that I'm going to go, oh, no shit. <laughs> um, so, let's see. What can we, I could take a few calls, I guess. Yeah, the number for everybody to call in and talk to Louie is 866 Wow, one wow. Wow, one wow. So here's what I'm going to try to do. Uh, you can ask me any question, and I'll answer it, and then I will shit on you. Okay? That's what I'm going to do. So if you if you come on, be forewarned that I'm, I'll answer any question with, as well as I can about anything, and then I will insult you very uh, deeply. Okay? All right. That's what I'm going to try. So let's try uh, just the first guy on the top there, Mike from South Carolina. 
Mike, you're talking to Louis C.K. Go ahead. All right, buddy. What's up, Louis? Hey, how are you, Mike? Hey, pretty good. Hey, uh, me and my wife bought your DVD set for the uh, the HBO show you had. Yeah. And it was really cool about how you showed what the real families are like. Mm -hmm. You know, that's just the way it is. But it kept getting funnier and funnier each show we watched. And the, the question I have for you is, why didn't they go ahead and air the episode of The Clown? Because that was the funniest episode that, that you had. Well, we only had 12 slots because they only made 12 episodes of Entourage. So uh, uh -huh. we only had 12. They weren't going to just have a Lucky Louie episode just hanging out. So we, they decided. And I kept that one. I, they, I chose that one not to air because I, did, I didn't like it as much as the other ones. Uh, oh, it was it was just hilarious. Well, we another were, reason we also, we kept that one out because uh, the, it's a birthday party in the beginning of my daughter's birthday. So we, she would have had two birthdays in one year, which was just shitty writing on the part of uh, me. So that's why that All happened. Alrighty. All righty. Well, right. have a good day. All right. <laughs> I, I, he didn't stick around so I could insult him. All right. I hope they <laughs> aren't insult his love basket this, telling me that they like my show. Um, does It'll anybody? start off like that and then hopefully yeah. some other stuff. Okay. Uh, Let's try John from Pittsburgh. John, go ahead. John? John. Yes. It's yeah. me from Pittsburgh. Hey, what's your question, John? I, mean, I was wondering... Uh, I guess all in your tour dates list, you're coming to Pittsburgh at yeah. the Rex Theater. The Rex Theater, that's right. And uh, I just want to let you know, man, that place doesn't have any seats. Oh, really? <laughs> it's all standing? Yeah. Yeah, no, that's not okay. We'll have to put chairs in there. <laughs> I don't like that standing indie rock comedy horse shit. That's for it's like a rock festival type place. Yeah, that's place. for fucking faggots. <laughs> I just want to let you know, man, you guys have a great show today, man. You're one of the funniest motherfuckers I've ever seen, man. Thank you very much. See, I can't insult people when they're nice to me. Yeah. All right, thank, thank you very much, Thanks, John. Okay. Bunch it up. All right, let's wait with the phone calls. <laughs> Still some shit comes in. Yeah, let's see. You got to have a question, folks. Like, think of a question you wanted me to, to to answer. Well, Mike from Orlando probably has a question. All right, would love to answer. Okay. <laughs> Mike from Orlando, go ahead. You're talking to Louis C.K. What's your question? Well, I'll, th I'll throw you one. I All fucking right. hate you, Louis. You Do suck it? ass. Really? Why? No, but I want to give you. I want to. You, you want to insult somebody? Yeah, so no, but I don't want to be, be insulted. Punch. That hurts my feelings. Well, I'm giving you some ammo, though. No, no, just ask, ask me a question and I'll answer it and then I'll shit on you. Go okay, on. why are you such a dumb redhead? No, just <laughs> ask me a question. I just did. No, you're just trying to hurt you my you feelings. Suck. Now, see, this whole show sucks. Fuck all of you. All right. <laughs> there he goes. People aren't getting the whole point of this. No. They're supposed to ask me a legitimate question and like I'll it, answer it. An advice question? Is no. that what you mean? Yeah, or anything about Any anything. All right. You know, I was, uh, I'll just rattle on about something, though. I was uh, uh, watching George Bush the other day, and I was remembering 9 11. And, you know, everybody says that he was like a hero in 9 11, but do you really remember what happened? Like, do you remember that he cried, like, one day? Like, they're asking him something, like, right after, like, on September 13th or something, like, his lip quivered, and he went, like, I'm a loving guy, and, like, he, his voice shook because he was about to cry. And then, like, two days later, he had a wound on his head. Do you remember that? That he had a cut on his head. See, people fucking forget this. Yeah. Like, shit happens in this country. Like, James Cameron just found Jesus' bones, and nobody <laughs> fucking cares. People are like, yeah, you know, whatever. So... What happened was, and then there was this thing, I remember right after September 11th, George Bush's father was on an airplane, and they made him land in Wisconsin somewhere, and he said, he was on TV saying, I called my son from this hotel in Wisconsin, and he said, what's going on? And the, So here's the story that I pieced together, okay? September 11th happened because Bush people made it happen. Like, they killed Kennedy, <laughs> and they made September 11th happen so they could get money. It's like an insurance policy, like they busted out the joint to get the insurance and so he george bush called his father in his hotel and said dad what the, these planes hit these buildings it's terrible and his father said eh, it's not as bad as it looks and then george realized that his father like made september 11th happen so then he went to dick cheney and he said i'm going to tell it on all you guys and dick cheney said shut up faggot and he punched him in the face and he fell down and he cracked his head on the uh, on something and and then the story came out that he choked on a pretzel. That's the story that they released. Do you remember that? Yes. How is that not something somebody pitched, like, in a room? What the fuck happened? Uh, he fell down because he choked on what? And somebody said pretzel, and then they, they went with that. That's what I think happened. So Dick Cheney caused his injury. 
Yeah, Dick Cheney punched him in the face. All right. That's what I think. <laughs> um, Still no questions. Not good ones. This is a total disaster, and it's only been six minutes. I'm having fun. Yeah, well, you're not the one that matters, though. <laughs> go ahead and take a call. Fuck yeah. it. All right. Uh, Aaron, from, Aaron from Michigan, go ahead. You're talking to Louis C.K. What's going on, Louis? Hello, Aaron. How are you? Uh, all right. Hey, I was wondering, you ever gonna come to Michigan? Uh, I'm playing some room in Michigan. I forget what it's. If you go on my website, it's on there. I forget what it's called. But yes. Now, what is your website again? LewisCK.com. All right. And uh, I'm. All right. I got a big tour coming up. I'm playing a shitload of rooms, and I'm doing the Lakeshore Theater in Chicago, and then right after that, I'm in Michigan. I don't know what the fuck the room is. The DCE uh, DCE Music Center or something like that. Does that ring a bell? Uh, I'd drive to see it, but I'm just going to have to find out where in Michigan it is. The is it? DTE Energy Music Theater in Clarkson, Michigan. There you go. Oh, all right, yeah. That's me in that Michigan. That ain't that far. No, that ain't that far. That's Thanks me. a lot, man. You look okay. through the shit, Lily. Thanks, pal. See ya. All right, just keep taking calls. Fuck it. All right. Uh, like that. Uh, I'll hang up on that guy. <laughs> hang up on Corey. Corey from Massachusetts. Go ahead. Hey, Louie, love you, love your show. Thanks, Corey. I just wanted to say um, your HBO comedy special was one of the best I've seen in years, and I have a question. Okay. Um, what was going through your mind when you were sitting on your friend's ass and helping him masturbate? Well, I just remember uh, thinking, you know, I hope this helps. I hope this feels good for him. Uh, I hope this doesn't make me gay. Um, I don't know. That kind of approaches the line there do you think so do you think that was gay well what is it what does it mean to be gay does it mean like is it your track record or is it what is in your heart like i don't think about dick all day like i never think about people's dicks i never think about fucking people in the ass i never think about guys sexually but you want to fuck you and mcgregor well yeah that is it let's just put that aside for a second <laughs> okay <laughs> i'm not obsessed with guys dicks but if i blew a guy every day even though i don't care about guys would that make me gay is it track record is it behavior or is it what you th what you think about i think it's what you think about to tell you the truth so if i if i always thought about blowing guys and never blew anybody i'm gay is that what you think well, I think if it's like a, a desire that you hold in your heart, but you don't follow through, yeah, I think you're gay. But so then I sat on my friend's ass while he masturbated, but you think that that got close to that? You think the fact that I did that when I was 11? It only depends on, on how you feel about it in your heart. Yeah. Well, I don't think I'm very detached about it, and I think I was when I did it. I just felt it was a little squishy. It was weird. It, it was a good story and a great comedy special, and uh, they should give you good, uh, He's Saturday trying to get out of this conversation. But I'm not interested in debating with now, you. Now, wait a minute. But also, like, I, I, my dog licked my, like, cheese off my penis when I was 11, so am I a dog fucker? Like, is that it? Am I labeled? No, you're not a dog fucker, but you are in the Eastside Dave Club. I don't know who that is. It's, uh, somebody who works around Fez. Oh, okay. I don't know. Yeah, he, he uh, had a dog lick peanut butter off his genitals. So. Yeah. Well. well, thanks, Corey. The special, by the way, Shameless, is going to be on DVD in June 26th. You can buy I'll it. I'll be picking it up. Thanks, and, pal. Uh, BingeRadio.com. Thank you. Ugh, whatever that means. Stupid plug. Okay. Um, again, if you want to talk oh, to yeah. Louie with oh, any yeah, kind of question, <laughs> he'll, he'll talk to you about anything. Answer yes. any kind of question. Any question you have in the you world. Call 866-WOW-1-WOW. Again, the, call, uh, the number is 866 866- Wow, one wow. Yeah, Maybe somebody from the audience also has a question. Yeah, that's that possible. What about Wayne? What does Wayne from Alabama say? Wayne, go ahead. You're talking hey, to Louis C.K. What's up? Louis, you yeah. rule, man. Hey, thanks, Wayne. Listen, everybody I showed the CD, uh, the uh, DVD to has went out and bought it. Now, my question is, is, has it made enough of an impact for HBO to get the series back on the air? No, not yet. Uh, I, I don't know how many have sold. I Whenever I go to stores, I can't find it. Like, it's hard to find. It. I don't have, like, a million of them in stock. So I, I, I don't know. I, I, uh, I, we're, you know, the, the next, the last gasp for Lucky Louie is going to be the Emmys. If we're, we're submitted for the Emmys, if we get nominated for any and win one, then we actually have a shot to come back. That's about yeah, how it. Can, how can we make an impact in getting, a, uh, getting an, an Emmy award? I don't know. You'd have to join the Academy and uh, vote, which actually isn't as hard as it sounds. You could probably do it. I mean, that, that's the greatest sitcom that's ever been on, on television. It's oh, thanks, incredible, man. man. Everybody loves it. I loved it. I had a great time doing the show. It's a lot of fun. And, and Kim, the, the actress who plays Kim, she fucking rules, yeah, man. Yeah, that's my friend Pamela Adlon. She's great. She's hot. 
Hi, dude. Appreciate Thanks, Wayne. Take it easy. All right, let's talk to somebody from the audience. Let's see who we have here. Yeah, who are we are talking you, to? You're the guy in the green shirt. Will you come in and talk to me for a minute? Come, come on in and sit and have a seat. Show them in, boys. Somebody. Uh, what do we got left here? A little over 17 minutes. I am finding out definitively that I am not cut out for radio. Oh, don't say that. <laughs> I can't. Just being here alone is a whole other deal. Hey, hey, man, how you doing? I'm doing wonderful. What's your name? Uh, my name is Mark. Mark? Yeah, where are you, where are you from? I'm from in Connecticut. Yeah? Tell me something about yourself. Just uh, tell me, you know. Well, I'm the one that was mentioned before from out there that saw the uh, retarded Asian midget in Oh, I don't care about that. I don't okay. care about that. Um, tell me something else. Uh... You must have something else to say about yourself besides the fact that you saw a retarded Asian midget in a store. My life is boring and sucks. Does it really? Why, why do you say that? Why do you feel that way? Stuck in a dead-end retail grocery store job. Really? Why are you stuck there? Uh, because I can't find anything else right now and I've been too lazy to look. Why don't you just like walk around the country and... I'm a fat ass. rape people or something. <laughs> rape people. Hmm? I mean, your options... Don't be sarcastic. Be real with me for a minute. Okay. You are a fat man, but... Obviously. <laughs> he said it before I did. I would not have mentioned that you're a fat man. I'm a fat man. Not as bad as me. I'm not as fat as you. How old are you? 27. 27? Why are you so fat? Because I eat McDonald's every day. Why do you eat McDonald's every day? Because it's on my way to work. So your life is just stuck in this one gear and you can't get out of yeah, it? Yeah, pretty much. You eat McDonald's and you go to a shitty retail job and you notice Asian retarded midgets and then come here well, and tell them about it. it is that the, is that the case? This yeah, to me is a pretty typical O&A listener, right? <laughs> yes. Okay, all right. Probably wider than I am tall. Yeah. Did you go to college? Did you go to? I dropped out of college. I did. I did graduate high school though. Yeah. What did you What did you want to do? What is it you really want to be? Is there something that you wanted to be that? Well, until I hurt my back pretty badly, I wanted to be a professional wrestler. Really? Yeah. <laughs> and were you trying to be a professional wrestler? I was looking around for a place to get trained, and mm -hmm. then I fell in. And you hurt your back. What happened? You just fat, so your back got hurt. Uh, <laughs> I wish it was that easy. Uh, I took a nasty slip and fall at work one time, mm -hmm. and uh, I slipped the facet joints in my back, so four of my bottom facet joints. That's too much technical horse yeah. shit. You slipped and fell, like what happened? Somebody pushed you and no, you I was, laughed I, and then <laughs> jacked uh, off in your fat gut, or what happened? Jacked off on my cat. Um, okay. I was lifting a box, and I was lifting with my knees, Yeah. and this, I guess there was something slippery mm -hmm. on the floor, and mm -hmm. boom, the box fell on top of me. And yeah, so you hurt your back, <laughs> and then that was it for the wrestling. Yeah, pretty much. But that's what you wanted to be. What was your wrestler name going to be? What were you going to be called? Uh, the name I've always been working with was, yeah. was Aotific. Aotific? Yes. What the fuck does that mean? It means absolutely nothing. It's just a string of seven letters I threw together when I was like 14 years old. Aotific? Like, yeah. Really? It's just a word you made up? It's just a word I made up when, when you were like 14. 14. When you were yeah. 14, you thought the word aotific and decided that's going to be, I'm going to be a wrestler and my name's going to be aotific. Yeah, pretty much. we got uh, somebody with a question outside if you want to. What, what's the question? Someone Go ahead. save me? Yeah. Hey. No, you're doing fine. Go ahead. <laughs> Is that right here? Yeah. Hey, how's it going? Good. How are you? I'm pretty good. Um... You know, you had that episode where your wife showed her, uh, showed you her uh, asshole. Yeah, her asshole. Yeah. And she really wanted you to know about it. Yeah. Everything. Yeah. I was in a slightly similar situation. My wife had mm -hmm. spine surgery. Uh huh. And uh, basically, was bedridden for seven days, and then yes. got up and couldn't shit. Yes. And I wonder how the hell you get over these things, and actually, like, maybe want to keep fucking your wife. Um. Wait a minute. Your wife couldn't shit. So what? So I had to basically sit in the bathroom with her for and you had hours, to watch her shit hours on end. Do you have any kids? No. All right. Well, it doesn't matter. Just leave your wife if you don't want to fuck her anymore. <laughs> <laughs> doesn't matter. I mean, if you don't have kids, then what is the, what are the stakes? Just fucking leave if you don't want to fuck her. Really. But so you saw her shit, and that's making it hard for you to imagine fucking her. Well, yeah. I mean, I, I, when you sit in a bath, a hospital bathroom with somebody mm -hmm. for. Two hours. It, it kind of takes the, the edge shit. off of the sexiness a little bit. Yeah, just a little. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, uh, again, if you don't have, uh, why do you, why just don't fuck her if you don't want to? <laughs> I mean, just don't. <laughs> That's not gonna work. How long have you been married for? I've been married six months. Yeah, just just leave. It's only know. six months. Walk away. Yeah. <laughs> well, so we've been together for five years. Yes. 
I understand. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It's hard for me to really have any sympathy because I have two kids, so I'm kind of locked in. I can't go anywhere. Yeah, but you don't think about fucking your kids. What's that? You don't think no, about fucking your kids. No, what the fuck? Why did you get to that? <laughs> no, of course not. No, but because I have children, I have to stay with my wife. You see what I'm saying? Yes, I do. But you're married, so what does that mean? You got you uh, live together, yeah, and you have a piece of paper, but you could just you could just walk out the door. Oh yeah, you don't understand how free you are, like how <laughs> is little it matters whether or not shredder. you. All right, you're just trying to make jokes. Yeah, the, yeah, yeah. the fat right. guy who can't leave his real t retail jobs full of advice. <laughs> yes, for the very guy. <laughs> no, listen, uh, uh, there's got to be something that would make you want to fuck your wife, something that she hasn't done yet, or that you're afraid to ask her. I mean, here's all I would say about marriage is if you're on, if you're, because here's the thing, if you if you're having a hard time fucking your wife, that means it's close to over. That means you're you're you know, especially six months in, it's not a good sign. Well, but we had the surgery, so I'm thinking maybe like, how long ago did she have the surgery? A month. Oh, so it just this just happened. Yeah. Ah, right, well, don't worry, just jerk off to other people, and then you'll come <laughs> back around. Yeah. Well, but if you mostly. don't, then just ask your wife to do something fucked up that you never asked her to do before. Is there anything that you really want her to do that you never asked her to? No, we to do, do pretty much everything. That All right, we want. then you're not you're not going to be married long. <laughs> don't have kids. Uh, fat guy, get out. All right. Uh, and and does anybody else have any questions? Just raise your hand. Do you have any questions? Yeah, you in the back. Yeah, in the back. Yeah. Yeah. How's it going, Louis? Good. How are you? I'm doing good, sir. Good. Being that it's Good Friday, kind of a religious day. Yeah. I was wondering, are you religious at all? Do you have any sort of personal beliefs? Uh, well, I, I don't. Uh, is that you mean? Do I think there's a God, or am I? Whatever. What are your really? Are you religious? Slightly. Yeah. I hate to call myself a Christian because yeah. the name's kind of shitty. But you, but are, you're into my core Jesus? views are kind of aligned. You like Jesus? You think Jesus was the Son of God and all that yeah. kind of shit? Yeah. Yeah. Why? You really think so? You think he came and? I think that. Are you God Catholic or are you just or or Baptist? I or wouldn't something? align no. myself with any name. But I you, just kind of. What the shit that Christ said speaks to you and you believe it? Yeah. And you think he's up there watching you and God and? Yeah, sure. Are, do you think you're going to go to heaven? Or are you doing the right? Uh, thing? personally, I can't say I know or not. No. Those, so those are your religious beliefs. But I'm, it's kind of complicated just going. Yeah. I asked you the question. Oh uh, well, I don't think uh, <laughs> I don't think there's a net, I don't know if there's a God or not. Um, my I was raised Catholic till I was about ten, uh, but it all seems kind of fake to me. It all seems kind of phony. Um, I don't know. Uh, you know, there were so many guys that were crucified. There was like fucking thousands of them, and they all thought they were the Messiah. So I think it kind of became random that it was. <laughs> This Jesus dude, who was the one who, who got big, I guess is what I think. I mean, I don't want to debate with you or anything. I just was curious. <laughs> I uh, think. This, well, here's what I, think, one I was raised. Louis. I was raised Catholic, and I. But I, as far as Catholic, I think that the Catholic Church is is actually like a. Um, I think if you look at them subjectively, they're like a boy fucking machine. Like that's just <laughs> what they do. Like I think the religious stuff is incidental. I think that they fuck boys as a purpose like that's if you really look at they are the best boy fuckers that ever existed like they have this whole mechanism for moving the priests around after they fuck them and uh you know and they make priests not have sex so that they'll want to fuck the faces of the boys near them and they everything that they do is about gathering boys fucking them in the ass and then turning them out on the on the streets so that's what i think the catholic church is uh i don't think it has much to do with with Jesus. Oh, we have some uh, questions now. Yes. Fat fuck is draining. Sh well, the we already show. got rid of, got him. rid of him. Okay. Why does everyone think you're funny? Put that guy on, Scott from Rochester. Hey, hey, Scott. Hey, Hello. Hi, Scott. How are you? What's you have a question? Josh. Oh, it says Scott. Yeah, I just wanted to know why everybody thinks that he's so fucking funny. Who me? Why do you think I'm? Yeah. Yeah, I I don't seem I don't seem like you're funny at all. You mean from what I'm doing right now, or you, you've seen my stand up? Um, even... now especially, man. Oh yeah, no, now I'm awful. I totally agree with you. <laughs> but as far as have you seen me do no, stand up just, and you didn't think it was that funny? I just don't I don't find you funny. Maybe it's me. I think Patrice is great, and I uh -huh. think uh, 
little Jimmy's great and yeah. the ONA's great, but it just it seems like that you go, you try to go with the flow and you just don't. It just doesn't you're work. Great on the show. Well, it's totally your opinion. I mean, if you don't think I'm funny, it's totally your entitled to that opinion. Uh, I'm not gonna. Well, I was hoping to get you. I was hoping to get you stirred up a little bit. I thought. Something oh, I could say you know you wouldn't great. know funny if it fell out of your mother's cunt on your face uh, <laughs> while she's shi- while she's shitting in your mouth. <laughs> you know, like your mom's shit in your mouth and then funny comes out of. Shut up! I'm telling you. <laughs> and then funny comes sort of dribbling out of her cunt and hits you in the forehead, and you go, "Ma, what was that?" And she'd go, that was funny, you stupid douche. Now shut yeah, up and take good. the hot load. Is that that's sort of what good, you're man. looking for? That's exactly it. Okay. Well, thank you. All right. Um, go ahead. Uh, next one, Sharon. One, so, yeah. Sharon, go ahead. You're talking a little bit. Oh, sounds good, Sharon. Hi. Uh, I just wanted to tell that guy who said he has trouble fucking his wife after seeing her in the hospital mm-hmm. shitting or whatever. Yeah. I My husband had his appendix out, and they basically put his bowels to sleep. Yeah. And when they woke up, he shed a stream from the bedroom all the way uh-huh. into the bathroom as he was crawling into the bathroom and was, like, sitting in the shower stall just basically shitting all over so himself. So you had to see so. shit spraying out of his asshole, like, all yeah, day. Yeah, pretty much. And, and I had to clean it up. Uh-huh. And and, then, uh, and I had to cut his boxers off of him because he right. couldn't even get them off. Right. So that guy needs to just get over it. Okay, so did you, do you, but, and you still fuck your husband? And I, oh, yeah, I fuck him all the time. Yeah, see, this is a very, and stay on, Sharon, because this is a very yeah. good answer to your question. Guys only have this problem. Like, how am I going to fuck my wife now that I, he watched her shit after she had surgery. But women have to fuck guys who are basically disgusting people all the time. Do you have any idea how much they have to hold their fucking noses and blot out huge, disgusting memories in order to take a deep breath and suck our smelly, worthless penises? You just gotta block it all out and go for it. Yeah, I mean, Sharon, how many times have you fucked a guy where you really wanted to fuck him? And how many times have you fucked him because, Jesus Christ, the poor dude needs to fuck no, I, I pretty much wanted to fuck him. I fuck my husband all the time, loves to do it. And today's his birthday. Could you say happy birthday? Happy to birthday, him? you shit spraying faggot. <laughs> and you're lucky Sharon fucks you, you fucking AIDS ridden, useless dink. Thank you very much, Sharon. Right, thank you. Love okay. you. Bye bye. Yeah, you too. Should I get one more in? Yeah, one more. All right, it's going to be. One more person. I really need to uh, insult one more person. Danny, make it quick. Hi, Louie. Um, listen, one of my friends got a sex change, like a real one where they get, like, the penis, like, put into himself so it has a vagina. Yeah. And, uh, now we're hanging out and he always likes to, uh, try to fuck all of us. And one of my friends actually did do it, but, uh, I'm wondering, is it gay to actually, uh, have intercourse with an inverted penis? I don't think. Uh, have a good day. Yeah, you'll take your answer off the line, will you? <laughs> um,. I don't know if that's gay, but I'm going to insult you so we go out on something fun. Um, you know how Auschwitz is like this place where it was a terrible place, but now people go there to uh, commemorate it? That's what your mother's vagina should be like, a shrine, because it's such an atrocity that you came crawling out of there, you fucking smelly faggot. <laughs> um, I'm going to be in Denver <laughs> next week, this coming <laughs> weekend, at the Denver Comedy Works. Uh, what are the dates there? It's on the t- top of the quickly. We April got... 12th through 14th. April 12th through 14th. Please come see me at Denver Comedy Works. Go to lewisck.com. I have many dates. I'm all over the road doing stand-up comedy, and it's all brand-new material. Nothing. <laughs>